Hey, this is Ray Bank coming to you live from the real famous comedy store. Here's Tony Hinchcliffe. Hey, everybody, it's Kill Tony with me, Tony Hinchcliffe. Make some fucking noise. It's a big live real show you're at, motherfuckers. I'm excited about this, Brian. Brian's wearing Snapchat glasses made by Snapchat that records everything. LA Speedweed gave us a bunch of weed. Hey, everybody, welcome to the show. How's it going? You're at Kill Tony. We're a big, li- the number one live comedy podcast live in front of a live audience in the world. Um, this is episode 203, and uh, we are doing this show next week in Austin, Texas, and Houston, Texas. So you can see that there. But we have an announcement to make about Austin, Texas. Okay. Because, uh, usually it was supposed to be May 21st. Yes, it's May 22nd. Yeah. Is it May? No, it's April. April. April 22nd. April. And uh, so that's April 22nd. April 22nd there, April 23rd in Houston. That's your uh, late, late breaking news. And we're good. Should we bring up our guests? You guys ready for guests? You guys like guests? Ready for the show? We're easing into the show. We have to promote ourselves first because uh, you guys are a fraction of the people that end up being part of the show, the live audience at the show, because we're a big live podcast. I'm excited about this, though. People are eating nachos. It's a good-looking crew. A lot of arm tattoos in the audience tonight. A lot of backwards baseball caps. A lot of tough-looking guys in this crowd. Comedians, how are you guys? Very mellow. It's very mellow over there. It's a depressing Monday. A lot of comedians still haven't quit from starting on their New Year's resolution. So the comedians are in a sad stock market mode right now. Ryan J. E. Belt. Ryan J. E. Belt is here drawing tonight's episode. He just drew the brand new Kill Tony poster, guys. Look at that with the entire band on it. Ali Makovsky, the regular. That new poster is unbelievable, and it's available at RyanJEBelt.com for pre-sale right now. They start coming in next week. And he's drawing right now. He's drawing the episode. Yep. At the end, he's going to have it like oh, the whole episode <laughs> in drawing form. Wow. You said episode three times in seven words episode. just then. Uh, he's drawing it, and you're going to see it after the show. After the episode. You guys ready for the guests or what, huh? Guests. Yes, I love guests. Always have two of the funniest comedians in the world on this show. This week's no different. Put your hands together for Bert Kreischer and Josh Adam Myers. Volume, baby. Volume. Huh? I have one out from you, so it's the mic is loud enough to be loud. Okay, did you get that technical note? Oh, there it is. I see. Bert Kreischer, Josh Adam Myers. Hello. Hi, hey, guys. everybody. Hi, everyone. I'm excited about this. Josh, you've done this show before. You have a new show, The Goddamn Comedy Jam, on Comedy Central. It's actually now titled The Comedy Jam. The Comedy Jam. We want the Procter & Gamble money. Kind of ironic that a bunch of Jews took the goddamn out of there. Huh? <laughs> yeah, we're going to have to lose the goddamn. They killed him. All right. Goddamn's a little too extreme for this rock and roll comedy <laughs> show. Too extreme. Uh, and Bert Kreischer, you did that show. I did. It was a highlight of my career. That's going to be on. Yeah, I've been on television seven years straight, and this was the one five-minute thing I did was better than all of that fucking combined. You get to belt your little heart out. Dude, Scott Stapp comes out. It's... It is fucking surreal. It's the greatest thing I've ever seen. It's the... Wow. It's, I'm, it, we made love on stage, like, spiritually. Him singing higher... With Creed. I think we made the band Creed relevant again because of how fucking good it was. The best is, uh, you know, when you do that, the comedian comes out and they sing the song and then the star comes out mid-song goes, Ladies and gentlemen, Rod Stewart. Oh, that, he didn't show up. but It's season two. <laughs> so my guy comes out, I bring him out, Scott Stapp, and we try the song once where I start And the singing. place goes quiet, right? <laughs> no, no, no. They went fucking nuts. They, they, went, they went. But they, Scott yeah. said, he goes, uh, hey... You know what would be great is if, uh, let me open the song. I'll really bring it home, and then you come in for the second verse. And I was like, okay. And he starts it. Oh, when I see you there. <laughs> and the fuck, you feel the energy of what it's like to be next to a rock star melting fucking faces. They're like, oh. And then I come in, I go, oh, baby. <laughs> and this girl in the front row audibly goes, oh. <laughs> oh. And I looked at Scott Stab. He's like, that's why I did it. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. Well, when's uh, when when do, when does that air? Uh, Mine's Jan- uh, April nineteenth. April nineteenth, but it's on uh, every Wednesday night, ten o'clock. Comedy Central, guys, please watch Wednesday it. Wednesday nights, ten p.m. Set your DVR. I like buying expensive it. shit, so please watch as we can get yes. season two. As you can not tell from his outfit. <laughs> <laughs> Indeed. 
Uh, we have a band on this show. This is like a real show because we have a real band. Everybody knows them. They love them. They became viral sensations again this week. Put your hands together for them. It's Pat Reagan, Jeremiah Watkins, and Joel Jimenez, the Kill Tony band. Reagan, Watkins, and Joel Jimenez. They come out to a different theme every week. You never know what it's going to be. Wow. Wow. This is impressive. It's a prison outfits. <laughs> Jeremiah's a little bit cross-eyed. Wow. <laughs> this is fucking awesome. Well, now, is it prison or Guantanamo Bay? Yeah. Yo, we got stuck in Guantanamo Bay. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> 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 you better save that oh, tinfoil. Oh, snap. My grill fell out, dog. <laughs> yeah. That mouthpiece was not properly fitted. That mouthpiece. Yo, yo, yo. <laughs> that's, how, that's how things are in prison, man. Wow. Thanks, Paul Wall. <laughs> <laughs> how, long have, uh, how long have you been out of prison? You look fresh out. Yeah, we just got out right now. <laughs> man. I like that accent. Where did you grow up? Yeah, Houston. <laughs> <laughs> I am so glad I got high for this. I know. That's like part of it. You sort of have to. <laughs> hey, uh, Pat Reagan, how's it going over there? Everything good? What are you, a uh, guy with shirt on head, huh? Oh. Yeah, this is my bitch, Patty Reagan. <laughs> 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 yeah. <laughs> well, uh, let's just jump into it. We have the Jolton Jolberg over here and the ones and twos on percussions. He's on a hot streak of joke telling. Look out for Joel Berg late throughout the show. You guys ready to get this motherfucker started or what? There's a bunch of names in a bucket right now. This is where the show actually starts. A ton of comedians signed up for the chance to do 60 seconds on this stage and then uh, talk to us afterwards about anything in the world. Comedians that signed up, you know your time's up when you hear the sound of a kitty. That happens at 60 seconds. Wrap it up then or else you're going to bring out the angry West Hollywood bear. There you go, with a little cow in it. All right, make some noise. Ready to start the show? Here we fucking go. An uninterrupted 60 seconds. And your first comedian will go by the name of Josh Gonzalez. Josh Gonzalez! I don't see a Josh Gonzalez. We shall pool again. Put your hands together for Joel Matthews. Very interesting. This is going to be a quick show. <laughs> I like it like this. Somebody's scared. How about Sam Lopez, everybody? Here we go. Yay! Um, I think you can tell a lot about a woman by the types of dogs she follows on Instagram. <laughs> yeah. I mean, like, it's just like women love dogs and men are dogs, right? <laughs> right? Except for, like, you know, if you like pussy, it doesn't really work. Um, but men are dogs, you know? Women look at dogs on Instagram the same way that men look at butt models on Instagram. We're just like, <sighs> I'm a pet the shit out. You know, like that's, it's just all day. I have a friend, she only follows um, pit bulls on Instagram, right? Pit bulls are ugly dogs. No taste, right? That's, she knows. No taste. Pit bulls are ugly dogs. It's like, pit bulls are like the John Goodman of dogs. It's like, <laughs> like I don't, I don't want you on my body, but I don't mind having you in the room. You're cool, John Goodman. It's cool that you're around. Uh, <laughs> Uh, okay, he did a dog, everybody, instead of the cat. Nice, uh, Brian. But way yeah. to improv. Way to, way to yes, go with the flow. He's riffing over here on the soundboard. Uh, so, Sam Lopez. Hey. Hello, how are you? Good, like how are you? I you perform with sunglasses on your head. I've never really I seen I actually that literally just walked in the room and then you called. It's fitting. It's so it fitting for someone that has sunglasses yeah. on the top of their head. It might be a first on the show. It stands out to me. Uh, do you really, uh, is that, is that, 
Sure, do you, do you follow dogs on Instagram? I do. I what follow. kind of dogs do you actually follow? I follow Bernie, uh, Bernie's uh, mountain dogs. Have you ever seen those? Yeah, they're like, of course. Yeah, you know Black, what brown, and white. Yeah, they're sexy dogs. Um, and then I follow Australian Shepherds. Great dog. Good dog. I like a, he has all these special barks for each different dog that you're naming. <laughs> he's, he's doing the actual fucking yeah. dog it is. I like a, a Border Collie. Mm. Oh. Oh, oh my god. <laughs> Our border collies are a little tied up right now. Uh, they're in trouble. This is all live stream actual that's a, dogs. That's a, I got t turned down at the border collie. <laughs> <laughs> they like that one. Uh, so, Sam, what do you do for work? Uh, I was, uh, I'm, I'm unemployed. Whoa. She's an Uber driver. <laughs> How are you surviving? Um, I'm living, I'm, I'm a kept woman, guys. Wow. Yeah. Yo, for people who don't know what that means, what does that mean? <laughs> <laughs> How long have you been a kept woman? What does that mean exactly? Um, uh, oh, well, I, I was working and then I quit my job and uh, I run the budget with my boyfriend and uh, we just yeah. kind of figured, I was like, you know, we could get by on just your paycheck if... We budget. <laughs> oh, this hoe's a gold digger. Okay. <laughs> wow. How long have you been unemployed doing the budget for uh, <laughs> your relationship? Yo, you know, I pretty much do the budget, and uh, he makes the money. <laughs> Yo, I gotta tell your boy, like, like he can just get turbo tax. It's all this whole thing. <laughs> So lost in character right now. <laughs> amazing. It's amazing. <laughs> Jeremiah Watkins. Uh, so you're a cam girl or something? No. no. Is yeah. that the vibe I'm giving off? Not at all. No. What does yeah. your Not boyfriend do? He works a minimum wage job. <laughs> wow. When, now here's the question. When you're a kept woman, do you get to say no? Like, I don't want to give you a blowjob. You're like, ooh. You have to. You uh, have I, have, to. I have other skills. Okay. I'm, I'm a really wow. good. I'm you a really good. Be a cook. pretty good ironer. <laughs> <laughs> what are some of these special skills that you possess that would make someone want to uh, support you on a minimum wage? I, I know, huh? right? <laughs> I'm, I'm a really good cook. Really. <laughs> <laughs> ah! <laughs> Unless you could cook a turkey that can suck my dick. <laughs> 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 Wow, a really good cook. Such a good cook that whatever you make tastes better than the twice amount of money that he'd be able to spend on a meal if you weren't making it. How long has this been going on? Just a month. Just a month. How do you feel about it? I actually, I'm very uncomfortable with the situation. I don't like it. Huh. It's not really my seem, idea. It doesn't actually. really seem like it. I feel like you think you're answering that question correctly, but it sort of seems like Is you your boyfriend in the room right now? Uh, he might be. Um, yeah, he might be here. Man, I'd Ooh. run after this 30-day trial period, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Fresh out of prison. Uh, <laughs> what was the job that you had a month ago? I was a barista. Oh, a barista. Where? Uh, this cafe downtown. Uh, never mind. Yeah. Did you quit that job you or get fired? I, I was like, I was I hoping quit. she said my Starbucks. <laughs> <laughs> what was it? I, I quit. You quit. You're like, fuck this. I was, I, I, I woke up and I was too tired. To, so I didn't Ladies and gentlemen, that's called white privilege. <laughs> yeah. When you don't have any money, but you decide to take no money other than work because you're tired. What, Are you, you white? No. no. Lopez. Yeah. Out of all the jobs to quit for being tired, I don't understand how you quit a coffee shop. Like, you know that at least when you get there, never-ending coffee, right? Like, I'm tired seems like a reason to almost quit any other job other than working at a coffee place. It actually seems like that would be the reason to go to work because you're right. tired. <laughs> yeah, exactly. That's of by, the way, by the way, Brian, I, never mind, I'll tell you later. <laughs> Uh, um, the, the dog joke, I mean, even though you, it's, it's some people really do the, hate here's people. Here's Brian with the joke breakdown. Go ahead. No, I mean, a lot of people do hate pit bulls, I bet. But you're going to make half the audience hate you right immediately unless you turn it around somehow. I mean, because. There's actually more to the pit bull joke. How do you I have a pit bull. Do you, you have a pit bull? I have one, yeah. It's a service animal, though. Oh. <laughs> Snap back, bitch. Uh, <laughs> And I hate you because I have a John Goodman. 
<laughs> yeah, why John true? Goodman? What did he do to you? I don't know. I just said it in a mic once, no, and he, it worked. It's so I like okay, it. Don't shit do it again. On Jay, Jay John, Good. John Goodman's the, the like he's a Saint Bernard. Like, <laughs> if you're looking for a pit bull, you yeah. got to find a guy that like Ray Rice was a pit bull. That's a good. <laughs> Pitbull is a pitbull. Ray Rice is the guy that beat his wife up. And I am from Baltimore. Okay, okay. <laughs> Have you uh, been thinking about perhaps moving a dog in on this minimum wage one person budget <laughs> that uh, you and your boyfriend have been living on? What was the first part? You've been thinking about, you ever think about pulling the trigger and getting an actual dog? Oh, getting a, getting dog, a dog or a job? A, a dog. dog. Oh, no, 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 I don't want a dog. No. So How about thought, a job? Have you been thinking at all about getting a I've job? I've been thinking about getting a job, yes. What do you think you might go for? Dog walker? Um, I'll probably get another barista job. Oh, another barista job. <laughs> They're really easy to get. I, no, I know. It's the absolute <laughs> bottom of the barrel. Um, <laughs> yeah, it's not, it doesn't take a master class to the old one of those hit that button job. Sometimes, uh, you know, those machines do it. You know, they have it now to where you could just put, <laughs> all right, forget it. Uh, no. Um, interesting, Sam. What else are you into? You do stand-up comedy. You have a boyfriend. You got no money. So, like, how do you pass it? Like, what else? Like, what's a hobby of yours? Um, I like to swim when it's warm. And uh, I read. Yeah. What was that? Read? I read and you I learned swim. how to read in prison. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, people have a lot of tattoos on their body. <laughs> Interesting. Well, you had great energy. You're literally are totally adorable, and like I think yeah. you, I, I, I saw that. I was looking at your ass, but because she was facing you guys, that's what I was looking I at. But but she's got a, and so you really connected with the audience, and you muscled through those mediocre jokes. I mean, yeah. but, okay. but what I would say is, fine, and I'm going to always give this note, but like, I, I'm obsessed with dogs. So when you started talking dogs, I got really excited. And so, and if you really are obsessed with dogs, find that niche of part of the obsession that maybe you connect with the weird thing, like the really weird part. Like, uh, I don't know what it is technically, but like, I know I've gone down spirals and watching Uzbekistan dog fights on YouTube because I'm looking for the world's biggest, baddest dog. And th yeah, and then you're like, fuck, I need to get one of these. All I need is a Yugo and a fucking... But, like, go there and find that weird niche part. I always think that's more interesting than just, like, you know, like the base joke about guys like pussy or, you know, whatever. John Goodman. Yeah. And figure out a way to, uh, figure out a way to make a joke about not waking up to your coffee shop. Like, that's ridiculous. And I can't do anything with it. So... Yeah, and, 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 and I also like the joke about you being a kept woman. That's not so really. The, yeah, it's, you it's, fu talk it's funny about that, that. You, you figured out a budget where you could live off his salary. Yeah. And, it's, and it's minimum wage. That's interesting that you're so smart, yeah. but you refuse to use that intelligence to get a job. Yeah. And you need to make jokes about that. Yeah. And it needs to be real because people will be able to feel the realness because they know nobody's just going to be bragging about running a budget off of, you know, like it feels real because why would anybody do that? You're like Superman, but all you use is your heat-seeking vision to open up beers. <laughs> like, you're really smart, but you're... How long have you been on stand-up? Uh, a year. A year, yeah. Have you, you ever been to prison? Ooh. Not yet. Whoa, good answer. Hell yeah. If you, uh, if, you, if you could see yourself going to prison, what do you think the crime that you would have committed is? Other than shoplifting at a grocery store in a month. Probably a crime of passion. <laughs> Gotta get that baloney. All right. Sam Lopez, everybody. Hey, we met her Sam. here on Kill Tony. Good job, Tony. Sam. She's on good Twitter job, at the best Sam Lopez. Fuck yeah. Rock and roll. Take care. Sam Lopez, everybody. There she goes. By the way, Brian, I had to tell you this. I have, uh, I was doing sound effects in my podcast for a while. I was doing characters. And I have a horse sound of a horse going, -hee -hee -hee. and it was just, you got it? Yeah. yeah. And I, I was... I was driving down the 101, and the Run the Jewels song ended, and the very next song was the horse neigh, just, and out of nowhere, blasting in my car, I hear a horse, and I almost shit my pants, I went, and I went, ah! and I have all these sound effects, I have fights, and fucking child crowds cheering, and it's all on my own. I'm going to pass out. <laughs> I pulled another name out of the bucket. Put your hands together for Missy Martinez. Wow. We knew Missy Martinez.
Put your hands together for Missy, ladies and gentlemen. Hey, kids. Oh, I just punched myself with a fucking mouth. Which is fitting because I'm a porn star. So um, I've been, it's really hard to date being a porn star because there's no magic left. My life is basically like an episode of SVU, except I don't press charges afterwards. <laughs> and you know, there's no magic left because like my butthole's on the internet. So if I have to send a guy a selfie, I have to like go extra slutty. So I send x-rays. Um, and then, you know, you have that awkward first date talk, like, oh, when did you lose your virginity? I'm like, well, I actually broke my hymen riding a horse. Don't know why my uncle called his dick a horse. Um, and then, you know, it's, you know, it's, I'm, people think, you know, I'm a slow, whatever. I don't kiss till like the third or fourth date, which makes anal on the first really awkward. <laughs> And uh, after sex, I always curl up in the fetal position. That's when I put, lay on my back, put my legs in the stirrups, and wait for the abortion to be over. <laughs> Is that a minute? I can't tell time. That's 57 seconds from yeah! Missy Martinez. Math! Fuck yeah. Hi, Missy. You've been on the show before. It's been like a couple years. It's been a year and a half. And wow. this is my 12th time. Welcome back. There's, I, Thank you. It's, I very, very rarely do we ever, ever, ever see a stand-up comedian be able to like really pull off being like slutty and talking about it. Thanks, and Dad. You, and you make it look so... Oh, I'm sure your dad gave you other approval than this. Uh, <laughs> but no, uh, it, it is extremely impressive, like your stage presence and how you go about it. Like it's really incredible. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah, this, this girl got problems in the head, and I like that. <laughs> <laughs> Missy, I was here the last time you did stand up. Oh, wow. So, yeah, yeah. I didn't yeah. know you remember me. Yay. Yeah, of course I did. I, uh... <laughs> I should have worn yoga pants. Yeah, I Googled you the second I got fucking home. <laughs> and then the whole next weekend. <laughs> I'm a big fan of your work. Thank you. You're yeah. the one. You're Beat Kreischer over here. <laughs> Come on. Um, I, I was, I, and I mean, obviously it's been a year and a half, but like massively improved. And I, I really do. It's weird that I get to say that because I was here last time, but, uh, but I like your, I like what you're doing. I like where you're going with it. I like, I like personally, I don't think you, you, I, you can't offend anybody. So I would go even more of that fucking abortion <laughs> shit, more of that oh, yeah. SVU shit, like really make it. What happened? Oh, he has those glasses on. I'm sorry. Oh, jeez, we're going to make a whole thing about it, huh, Brian? <laughs> um, so, Missy, that's interesting. How's the biz How's the uh, porn business going? I don't have AIDS, so it's doing great. That's my good. asshole's <laughs> in my body, my tits are attached, I can't complain. How often does, like, someone work? Like, how often do you, how often do you just, uh, like... Some girls work every day, but I'm 30, so that's, like, 76. Porn stars age like dogs. Yeah, so, yeah. Man, this girl real, too. <laughs> Meaning the older they get, it's harder to eat their own assholes? Yeah, yeah. Well, that's the only reason why I do yoga, so I can still do it. Oh, God. Yeah. This is the first time I've ever seen you do stand-up, but I have seen you fuck five black guys multiple times. Yeah. I'm a huge fan. Thank you. Everyone it, remembers their quinceanera. Oh, you're incredible. Missy Martinez is an absolute legend, porn star. It, it, it was, I was very starstruck uh, when, I first, when you first got pulled out of the bucket years ago. It's an actual thing. <laughs> Uh, yeah, so that's actually the name work. of her first porn movie. <laughs> yeah. Pulled out of the bucket. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, gonna be, I'm gonna be honest, Missy. I kind of <laughs> would like to see you do a longer set. I'd be interested to see you do like 20 minutes. You know, because uh, because I, no, I I would lo I'd love to hear your fucking I'd love to hear your. <laughs> <laughs> You silly fucking goose. <laughs> you can just stop right there. I'd like to hear yep. your fucking... Boing. But yeah. Oh, thank you. Are I you see. still an active porn star? Like, uh -huh. you still doing scenes? Oh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I have my own sex Black? toys and stuff. Like, what? No, Greg Lansky won't hire me. Because he wants, like, the natural girls with tiny tits. And I have... You know, I have these, so I don't have to have a personality. Tushy? Tushy? Oh, no, I do butt stuff, but he hasn't hired What's the me. most recent thing that you did? Most awesome. recent stuff, I did a Wicked movie with Asa Akira. Anything oh. fun yeah. happen in that? Anything fun happen? I didn't shit on the dude's dick, so it's a success for me. There you go. Man. Power up. Fuck. Extra points You're for totally new. unfiltered. <laughs> Man, that's a real prison talk right there. <laughs> hey, what's... So, like, <clears throat> so like uh, the thing I'm obsessed with is finding a brand new stereotype that no one knows about. Mm -hmm. You know, like uh, like Asian people are slow. 
That's a, no, like no one knows that. Mm -hmm. They've never won a gold medal in the Olympics, <laughs> a bronze medal, or a silver medal in anything below the marathon. They're never won. And so, like, that fascinates me. But I want to know, like, I want to know. <laughs> wow, someone's racist against the Asians, huh? Good <laughs> Lord. No, but there's this Asian lady that runs to our school every day. She runs so weird. I go, that's got to be inherent. Like, <laughs> uh, yeah. And it comes from Genghis Khan. They're really great horseback riders. They're not good at running. So. Yeah, or driving, from what I've seen. I <laughs> and so, but, like, what's a stereotype? <laughs> What's the stereotype about porn stars that you notice, that you pick up on? I'd be interested in like these insights that we'd never get, but then would answer a question for us. Do you know what I mean? Okay. Um, well, there's the cliche ones that they're all drug addicts or were molested. Um, a lot of them are really bad with their money, so they can't afford to buy drugs. So that's just go that goes yeah. out the window. Um, most of them are educated, normal. They're just, you know, they just like to sleep until noon. Hold, oh, on, hold on, hold on. I like to sleep in I like to sleep in Look, I know baristas that like to sleep in so news. <laughs> Coffee enemas. What's the funniest thing you've ever seen go on in a porn set? Um, is that pretty that much I've, what it boils down to? Is a lot of poopy on the PP stuff? So sometimes, sometimes. The funniest thing, you know what Nuba rings are? Yeah. They look like scrunchies, but they're um, birth control. Oh, yeah. my wife. I, yep. Yep. There you oh, go. There you my go. wife. Wow. Hey, Anybody want to guess whose wife you can bust in all the time, huh? <laughs> I'll give you one so, guess. So I was on set and the girl had it and it was a. It was a <laughs> Anyone want to guess whose wife you can bust in? <laughs> Blooka, blooka, blooka. That was it's fun getting to make jokes like that and like look over and, and just see you just dying of laughter. It's a weird thing to say that you could bust in some guy's wife if you think about it, but uh, it's a weird gig we have. Weird kept silly. Woman. Uh, so, so wait, Nuba Ring story. Yeah, yeah Nuba Ring story. So I was working with this one girl, and you know, you have to be a little dexterous for certain things, you know. And so I was, was in there, you know, I was fishing around, and then pew, shot out across the room. The Nuva Ring. The Nuva Ring shot out across wow. the room. Wow. Man, did she get pregnant that day? Uh, <laughs> it ain't mine. <laughs> Why does she have a Nuva Ring on for a girl and girl? I don't, you only have to put it in like, I, I think you could take it out for a few hours at a time. Yeah, you're not Ooh. supposed to take it out. You're supposed to let it get there and get curdled up. Uh, well, Ugh. Oh, God. Curdled. <laughs> Man, the way like you describe it Thank is you, so, Crypt Keeper. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so romantic. <laughs> Missy, you, you were coming qu uh, quite frequently, and you were getting really good at stage presence. You were really calm on stage. This time you seemed a lot, uh, really nervous. Uh, why did you quit? Because you were doing so good, and then a year and a half. A we day. haven't seen you in a year and a half, but you yeah. have been coming quite frequently. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, <laughs> thank you, Joel. That's, just, that's, that's a lie. No, I don't, I don't come. Um, <laughs> women don't deserve orgasms. That's just a fact. Yo, uh, that's that feminism true? right there. Do you not get orgasms? Is that true? Why oh, no, not I do. I just don't do. care. I'm just jaded now. Let me ask you this. Yes. If you didn't get orgasms, would you still as a, uh, is it like being a pro wrestler or something? Like, if you couldn't actually have orgasms as a porn star, would you still have to say that you're able to get an orgasm? Like, is that a thing that I yeah. guess? Yeah, 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 yeah. Right. Yeah. Because it's that's just all code. dead down here, though. Because guys want to hear. Yeah. Yeah. That's interesting. So even if she has never had an orgasm, she'd have to be like, oh, I totally oh, yeah, right now, come I every like, video. I like five since I was standing here. I, I fake them sometimes too. <laughs> I just hot spit on, on her back. stomach and go, whoa. <laughs> <laughs> Keep toothpaste in my hand. No, <laughs> <laughs> oh, there's red stripes in it. <laughs> oh, shit. Her, her stomach's <laughs> never been wider. Bert, you got your ears pierced. Yeah, I got my ears pierced you, in you, London, you, and my and my daughter wants me to keep them in. I, <laughs> some gay guy said to me that he goes, "Not even gay guys have their ears pierced anymore." <laughs> you look like Charles Sassoon or something like that. I love Harrison it, dude. Ford. I feel so young. <laughs> do you do you uh, do you have problems coming when you're drunk? Do I have problems coming when I'm yeah. drunk? Yeah, dude. Don't even get me started. I love that we get Missy Martinez up here and finally want to start well, asking Bert how. Uh, well, we could see why, don't you, why don't your dick work, Bert? No, my no, my dick still works, but I don't. I become what I jack off. When I jack off to you, I'm like an <laughs> animal. Well, I'm, I'm just saying, I did, I did. What kind of animal are but like, you like? But you're not when, enjoying it. You're not really making love. You're just like gah, and then power fucking. And when I'm, yeah, power fucking. And then when I get drunk, I I power. I don't enjoy it. I had sex this morning sober and I really enjoyed it. I was like, oh, this is, I should take my time. I'm not, 
It's not a winging eating contest. Well, morning, morning fucking is the best fucking. That's the best way to start oh, your day. We took a bath, we brushed our teeth, we like took care of each this other. Morning. That's good. I like wow. that you had to tell us you were sobered this morning, though. Well, I haven't had Prison sober sex word. since I was 17. Wow. Yeah, who fucking does that? Have you found it that it's harder to please your wife since you have earrings in now? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> she asked me today, she was like, because uh, they're both really affected. <laughs> and she was like, uh, the fuck? maybe we should How? just take them out because uh, you're not going to keep them, right? And I was like, I don't know. And she was like, no, you're not going to keep them. And I was like, well, you can't say that. Morgan Freeman's got an earring. And she's like, you're not fucking Morgan Freeman. <laughs> You should get some power hoops, like they have a really big, like thin I, ones. I'm already talking. I'm already thinking about getting real tight hoops, like real oh, thin yeah. and tight. Oh just my so that god! I, discreet. Like if you know I have earrings, you know I have earrings. But if you don't know, you don't know. Right. That's a, that's a <laughs> Good whole set, world. Missy. What made you want to get earrings? My daughter was getting her ears pierced in London, and she didn't want to be the last one to go. She was like, I want someone to go last because that's the one who has the most pressure. I go, fuck it, I'll get it done. And so I went last. She went second to last. She cried. You can find the video online. It's my best parenting moment ever. Teaching her how to ride a bike and that are my two parenting heights. Getting your ears pierced. Getting my ears pierced. But I moved because I freaked out and they pierced it fucking weird. Oh, Speaking shit. of getting holes plugged, Missy. Yes. Um, yes. So how often do you work now? Is that like uh, once a week you'd say? And how does I, I that happen? Do you have, like an, do you have an agent that calls you? Like, hey, oh, no, I'm Missy. a free agent now. I've been in for eight years. Wow. I've been in for eight years. Sheesh. She's um, doing the camming. I work it every day I'm not shooting. I'm like, that's free money. Yeah. Just yeah. sit at home, walk my dog. Wow, they pay to watch you walk your dog? No, 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 oh. no, no. I don't do that stuff. I go straight for the butt. Straight for the butthole. Yeah. That's How much good. do you make webcamming? Uh, last year, I made 60 grand just on webcam alone. Not wow. including my shoots. Damn. It looks like ground zero down here. <laughs> it's uh, exploded hot pocket. T Tony. <laughs> <laughs> looks like a jellyfish pocket. sneeze. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Hey, Tony, yeah. are we all just going to ignore the elephant in the room? Uh, how are your budgeting skills? I can't count. Hmm. So you took off for a year and a half. Is that what you're saying? Yeah, or are you I, doing stand-up pretty regularly? Like? Yeah, I was doing only Kill Tony. I'm exclusive to Kill Tony. And I still haven't received a paycheck yet. Uh, so I was doing that, and then, we. <laughs> right? <laughs> uh, I was doing it, and then it was just like a scheduling conflict and getting down here because I don't live down here. I live about forty minutes of like by Magic Mountain. Well, we know where you guys live. <laughs> <laughs> forty minutes away from Magic Mountain. No, no, like, I live up by top. It's oh, by right there, more there. space to shoot. More. That's where they shoot the yeah. porn locations. Right? Yeah. I have to drive down here to shoot. You can always just look up at. Yeah. Magic Mountain. Yeah. I think my ba I think the jokes were there. Mm -hmm. You have a point of view because of what you've done in life, but I just like agree with what Bert was saying. You just seem nervous. You could tell mm -hmm. that you were just not a you weren't as comfortable as I think somebody that was getting up. Yeah. Right you know right. what I mean? Yeah. I said this the first time I saw you. I'm fascinated by your life. I'm interested on the on the outside. I, I think I told you this exactly last time. There's a lot of porn stars I follow on Instagram because mm -hmm. it's not nude on Instagram, but it's cool to see their life. Yeah. Like, it's really cool. I met that girl, Lindsay Pellis, the other day. And I was like, I follow your life. Like, it's really interesting. But I would like to see more about your life. I would like okay. to hear about that. Okay. So, uh, okay. and just get on stage more. Just get on stage more. All right. yeah, it's yeah. definitely the stage presence. It's the only thing that's putting it back, mm -hmm. you know, because we feel your, like, yikes. <laughs> yeah. and There's it, like, room for uh, a porn star stand-up comic. It is not out there yet. And you are the one that is leading the race. Yeah. Fucking yeah. Do yeah. It. Do just it. imagine you, that that microphone is a dick. Don't know. I was told not to spit on it last time. <laughs> hey, I got a question. Oh, question over there, Patty Ray. I got a question. All right, like, what about you? Ever get like a chatty cameraman who's like talking the whole time? You ever get a camera game? guy that's? Uh, let me get more specific. You ever get a camera guy that just starts jerking off in the middle of it? Uh, okay, you guys are making ridiculous statements. <laughs> Have you ever had? Uh, <laughs> A Tourette syndrome sound guy who's like, cocksucker, cocksucker! <laughs> suck that dick, suck that dick! And you're like, you gotta hire a new one of these. <laughs> that guy's a loud him. sound guy. <laughs> <laughs> He's a, he knows his job, right? <laughs> motherfucker, motherfucker! My penis is on fire! Those are things I'm saying, though, during the scene. Yeah. Yeah. Missy Martinez, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah. There yeah. she goes, on Kill Tony again, year and a half. She's on Twitter at Missy X Martinez. But. 
You probably know that because you probably follow her if you're listening to the if, show. Is there another way I can get another? How much more time do we have left? Oh, yeah. Can I get time. another double Tito's and soda, please? Double Tito's and soda. Double Tito's and soda. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. Um, how about David Ramick, everybody? David Ramick. That's, that's not David Ramick at all. He's Ramick back here. Oh, here he goes. David Ramick. Straight from Comic-Con. Sorry, I only do from the belly room. Saying, uh, so I want to talk about something that happened um, last week. I almost got hit by an Uber driver while I was riding my bike. So I do what I always do when somebody pisses me off. I went on Twitter, and I tweeted, I almost got hit by an Uber driver while I was riding my bike. So I'm definitely not giving that fucker five stars. It gets better. I got a tweet from Uber, and it says, we're sorry to hear that. So everybody, Uber is really watching out for, to cover their ass, okay? Just to let you know. <laughs> do, do I get still time? Because I, I want to ask you guys a question, all right? Am I mistaken, or is the Dirty Sanchez is when the woman goes to Home Depot and picks up a Mexican named Sanchez and then lets him fuck her in the ass. Is that a dirty Sanchez or am I mistaken? I just want to... <laughs> wow, you are... What a way to end it. <laughs> Give it up for Bobcat Paperweight. <laughs> Bobcat Paperweight. Joel Berg is on the street. David Ramick. Wow, when's the part where it gets better? You said that in the middle. I'm still waiting for it. Jeremiah? Yeah, did you change your name uh, from Elijah Weiss to uh, David Ramick? Because I've known you for years, and uh, you've always gone by Elijah. Well, I was doing that as a stage name for a while. So. Oh, my bad. Yeah, oh. yeah, yeah. Man, I mean, you've been he, performing at prisons, obviously. Uh, uh, thank you. <laughs> Because no, uh, my, my Hebrew name is Elijah. Oh. And, yeah, right. and my, I, I guess my, it does get better, guys. Uh. My mom's birth name, she's a German Jew, was Wise. So I was kind of like going by that stage name to kind of like to emphasize my, Jew, my half Jewishness. But after a while, I was like, you know what? I'm going back to my, my father's Where name. Where are you originally from, David? Huh? Where are you originally from? My father's from Bosnia, it's Yugoslavian, yeah. and my mom, who I really haven't, didn't know. Thanks for, yes, because thanks for the sad music, by the way, because... Stick with me here, David, just keep she, answering the questions. Yeah, uh, you know, she's German Jew. Her, her name is Evelyn Weiss. So where so. did you grow up, exactly? I grew up in Connecticut. What Connecticut? city? What city? Yeah. What city? Oh, sorry. Um, what high school did you go to? I was born in Bridgeport. Yeah. I lived there for, t for 12 years, and then I moved to Shelton, Connecticut. Yeah, your first love. Let's talk about it. Danny, my first love. All yeah. right. Keep going, David. Don't think about it. Just answer. Oh Stick with me here. Oh, my God. Oh, my first love. Oh, a dog I had named Blizzard. <laughs> <laughs> Even though he did bite me at some point. They always bite you, David. Yes. They always do. True love well, hurts. Bite of love, I guess. You know, yeah. <laughs> Where did he bite you? He bit me actually above the ear. But wow. you see, this is thing. This is the you story just pointed at your eyeball and said above your ear at the same time. <laughs> it's almost impressive. Yo, know, but the thing was, he was a straight dog. He was a, a he was hus. A, he was a he was straight, straight dog? dog. Yeah, he was a husky. Doesn't sound like yeah. it to me. Huh? <laughs> no, go ahead, David. I'm sorry. He was a husky. We 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 brought him in and. And that's the thing, we, we, he, we just never was able to raise him right, you know what I mean? Like, train him, and so he still had that wild side to him, and I was a stupid kid, I'm not gonna admit it, I'm gonna admit it, I was a stupid kid, you know, I used to fuck with him, one, and one day he just got pissed, and he just, and then he bit my eye off. What did your dad do for a living, David? Huh? What did your dad do for a living? He was a machine operator, a molding machine. Did he drink? No, my mom did. 
Oh. He, she was an alcoholic, yes. David, I gotta be honest with you. <laughs> you're so fucking interesting yeah. when you're not doing stand up. Yeah. <laughs> oh, thank you. Thank you. Yeah. You're literally the best. It turns out that you matched with the soundtrack from Forrest Gump. <laughs> is literally. You're like when magical. Forrest was running with the leg braces on when you do stand up, and then when you become you, the leg braces break yeah. off. Yeah. yeah. Run, David, run! You're doing it right now. So let's, you got a let's, see, let's, see if this, you. Uh, let's see if this experiment keeps working. David. Uh huh. What was the dog's name? My dog's name. It yeah. was Blizzard. Jenna. Blizzard, yeah. Blizzard? She, it was white. No, Blizzard. Blizzard. Oh, Blizzard. It was a, yeah. <laughs> Jenny returns. Um, <laughs> uh, okay. Blizzard. Now, where did things go wrong? When With he, Blizzard? When, when he bit you? Did you put him down? No, 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 we didn't. How, we how didn't. much longer did you keep him around for? <laughs> oh, it, uh, he, he lived like to 12 or 13 years. 12 yeah. or 13 years. Yeah. Dog yeah. AIDS. And then what happened? Were you still he living? He just died naturally, you know. Were, well, you the one, were you the one that buried Blizzard's body? No. Actually, I don't even remember what we did with Blizzard. I think my my father took care of it. Mem know, memory yeah. is a little bit foggy on that part. Yeah. How he died. You no, know, exactly. because here's the thing. I'm being honest. When I don't know if my, you really my, are. All right, my <laughs> my mom and my dad divorced when I was two years old, and for like ten years, my father actually raised me and my three brothers all by himself. So we were like in the what. You know, poverty, poverty is. We were so po um, poor. Yeah, yeah, how poor were you? We no, don't make a joke. Don't do, try not to be dude. funny. You're better when you're not funny. Yeah, Go. keep going. Right, yeah, keep going. How no, poor were I, you? We were so poor once I told one of my neighbors I was hungry. Serious, true story. And when my father got home and found, found about that, well, you know, I got my ass whooped that good that night. <laughs> David, 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 do you see what you're doing? You're writing comedy. I was so poor when I was young. You know how poor we were? How poor were you? I asked for food one time and my dad beat the fuck out of me. <laughs> That's poor, David. You're writing comedy. Just stop trying to do it. Just do it. Yeah. 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 That's absolutely right. How long have you been on stand up? About eight years. <laughs> <laughs> what do you how do you make your money? I, I work as a window washer. Self -employed. Wait a Wait, second! Is, I've fucking the greatest seen you washing windows. Yeah, I've yeah. ever seen in my life. That's incredible. I've seen you on where is it? Like, it's hard no. to hide when you wash a window. <laughs> I'm all over the place. I, I mean, I go to like, I'm, you. I'm, usually you see me on Melrose. I go to Silver Lake and you know Hollywood. Bull I've Bars seen you on Melrose washing yeah. windows. How long have you been in the window washing game? Oh God, like 11 years now. I used wow. to wash windows for two years. It's, well, uh, you know what they say. <laughs> it sucks. It's a horrible job. I don't like washing my own windows. Do you do Do you do high ones though? Like I had to do like high ones, and that, no, no, just uh, street level. Street I mean, level. I mean, okay. maybe I could go up to thirty feet, but that's it. I, Damn! I don't, I'm not, wow, I'm not, street way, level that's or three 30 stories feet. above free street level. Yeah, you that's enjoy not street level anymore, David. That's a <laughs> fall that breaks your back. No, but I'm talking with just a pole. I'm, I don't oh. go up on. I'm not one so of those crazy climb up yeah, the extender. You have to huh? climb up the pole and then no, slide No, I'll down. climb up a ladder, but I will not be one of those fucking guys that go way yeah, up. Yeah, I used to have to do that you know. Yeah, you yeah. look like you've already fallen off a couple ladders. Yes, there, yeah. You yes, don't want to do have. that. <laughs> Would you consider yourself one of the best window washers in Los Angeles? Probably, yes, yes. I mean, for the price, yes, I am. Do you have <laughs> any, like, cool catch for, <laughs> for the price? Are you, you an are. independent contractor? Yeah, I'm self-employed, so yeah. Shut up. They, like, call up and they're like, David. Wait. Do you have like some cool catchphrase <laughs> like you know like uh, David, you hungry? <laughs> fucking pigeons, man! <laughs> Can you're you help me out? You're like ah! You kick your ass if you clean the. What's the name of your company? Window. Days window washing. Oh. I don't have. Very <laughs> original. <laughs> <laughs> Dave's window wash. Like, you have any cool catchphrases or anything like that? Like the glass is always cleaner on the other side or something? No. <laughs> Life is like a box of chocolates. No, no, I don't like that. Dave's window washing. At least I won't come on your windows. <laughs> let's let's ballpark a bunch of let's. We're gonna go round robin style on names on slogans for your company. Okay. okay. Ready? So we'll start with you. And then go to me, then Josh, then, then Brian, uh, Tony, then Brian, and we'll go around, okay? Here we go. Dave, give me a slogan for your window washing, quick. First thing that pops Dave, in your head. Uh, 
Yeah, don't think, man. They wash your window fast. <laughs> I can't follow it. <laughs> Dave washing window fast. <laughs> washing window fast. Oh my god, I think that's it. Dave, do you see that when you don't think you're ten times funnier? I love man, you're an interesting guy, but just stop trying to do like yeah. make it what you think it should be. Just be you. Yeah, I can I can hear you talk funny. about window washing for thirty fucking minutes. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> That, you're right. I am trying to find myself, you know, still. In, creepiest in thing you've now. ever, uh, creepiest thing you've ever seen on the other side of the glass while cleaning a <laughs> window. Hmm. His doppelganger. I would say like anything that the stores do with mannequins, because they do some really creepy shit with mannequins here in Hollywood. That's. <laughs> Wait, what, 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 what about mannequins? Man, you know, Did you answer a different question? <laughs> no, I like this line yeah. of questioning, though. So wait, what bothers you about mannequins? <laughs> I, I don't mean, like they, balloons. Go, yeah. What they do, just, mannequins, go, Dave. They, they just, like, they, they'll, like, put S&M outfits on fucking mannequins. Like, like well, why the fuck do you do that shit? You know what I mean? Or they, like, they, they will, like, expose one breast, not the other. It's, like, stupid shit yeah, like the that. They expose both breasts. S and M plays. When you say why would you do that shit, are you talking about why would you put S and M stuff on a mannequin? Yeah. And by the way, obviously you're also cleaning windows on Santa Monica Boulevard. <laughs> I know the places that you're talking about. Yeah. I think he's talking more about mannequin rights. Like, yeah, this is interesting. Like they're oh. they're almost people too. Right. Yeah. What's it, what is your favorite porn category? I don't know about favorite. Pa I would say Japanese. Anything that's Japanese, yes. that is my favorite porn. Wow, dude, I fucking yes. love you. Yes. What is it about Japanese? Are you talking about submissive? No, no. Are you I, talking about I'm talking about they, uh, they do shit that that makes America puts America to shame. Like Japanese like tentacle what? porn. You ever seen Japanese? Say Japanese again. Tentacle porn. <laughs> I want you to get it out. I Tell feel like you had a stroke midway through saying Japanese. <laughs> <laughs> you have you two have to, weeks. You have to explain what tentacle porn is. I don't think we've ever heard this before. Yeah, go ahead. Explain right. it to us, please. <laughs> Believe it or not, they actually have porn where they have like a Japanese schoolgirl that's being ripped by like some alien monster, and she's getting these tentacles ripping off her clothes and getting her a tentacle in the pussy in her ass. I swear to God, it's, it's the craziest fucking keep, thing ever. Keep seen. describing it for the podcast and They got listeners. tentacles in their mouth. They got tentacles all over the fucking place. I mean, that's, it's... At first, I thought he was saying technical porn. <laughs> and I was like, technical porn? Technically, isn't it all porn? So wait, do, do Asian women turn you on? Huh? Yeah. Well, you know, it's... <laughs> and I know it's more the like, tentacles. Yeah. Actually, I like it's more, more of the Japanese anime porn. <laughs> anime <Because> porn? <laughs> anime. I don't know how you say it, but... They, anime? Uh, right. Anime. Oh, anime. Yeah, because they, they go come up with some really crazy shit on the anime. I don't, and I don't know where they come up with it. Well, you know it's not real, right? No. <laughs> crazy anime. They can anime. draw it. That's where they come... Like, they, they, it's not like, like, where do they fucking find this gorilla that's going to fuck this woman? <laughs> How's this gorilla? Where's PETA during this whole thing? I get... Craziest anime porn you've ever seen. Yeah. The one that they had this oh, one. I All right, they had this you. one. I fucking love you. <laughs> they Come had, on. They had this one where um I don't know what it was. It was a giant ball. I guess a giant ball tentacle alien. It chats one girl, Japanese girl. It rolls along, and some other girl, Japanese girl, in a swimsuit walks along. She gets trapped. So they're trapped by this fucking thing, and then this guy walks along, and, they, and then all of a sudden they realize, the guy realizes he has to fuck them, and come inside them, they release the girls from the giant alien attack go porn. I'm not making this shit up. You need a podcast, dude. And I love that. that, that I will is fucking my... listen to that every day. Wow. Wow. <laughs> my goodness. My question is, how do, how do you to get read this? books for me and then explain the plots? <laughs> <laughs> There's a big fish, a guy after him, and then some of the tentacle in the pussy. It's called Moby Dick. You, you should work in a comic book store. 
right? Because that would be awesome working around a bunch of porn, anime porn. You Kill could probably guidance yeah. counselor uh, Brian uh, Redman. I'm, I'm, I'm not. I'm not. Who's that guy? The comic. Uh, I'm thinking of the fat. I just hate to say it, but the fat comic. You? There's, that's like all of them. Kevin Smith. Kevin Smith. No, I'm not Kevin Smith. You're man. definitely I, not Kevin no, Smith. But you <laughs> are the Kevin Smith of window washing. The, yes, Let's talk yes, about. Yes, I it. am. I feel like the tagline for your company should be. <laughs> David washes windows. While I wash the window, you can guess if I was vaccinated as a child or not. <laughs> That's a good slogan. Thank you. Dave, I, I so wash I will, your windows I will, fast. I will consider that, Josh. <laughs> I love you, David. I actually, David, we used to do open mics like 10 years ago together. Yeah. And uh, it's good to see that you're still doing those same open mics, yeah. brother. Yeah. I love you, man. Kicking ass and cleaning glass. There he goes. <laughs> David Ramick, ladies and gentlemen. Right. Great, Great job, job, David. David. For his Twitter, he wrote David Ramick at Twitter. So whatever that means. The at, the at, David Ramick, the at symbol, and then Twitter. So if you can, if you can find David Ramick on Twitter, uh, you get uh, free front row seats at the next Kill Tony. That's David Ramick, R-A-M-I-C. One more time for him. Obviously a new Kill Tony uh, icon. Oh, you know what? I pulled one. Uh, I pulled another one when I thought David wasn't coming. Is Patrick B. at it again here? Patrick B. at it again. Wow. Patrick B. at it again. Oh, my God. Patrick B. at it again. Yeah, so I'm white. I'm so white, I had to grow dreads just to see myself in the mirror. I'm so white that people at Whole Foods know my first and my last name. I'm so white that I'm still trying to understand why when I'm at taco spots with the news on, they underserve me. It's so unfair. But now I'm out here in Cali. Thank you. And I noticed there's two things that interest me a lot, and that's weed and women in that order. You guys is weed, impeccable. I love it. It's delicious. And you women are just as fine. But the difference here is. Yeah. What, what, is, what, what is the difference? I want to know. I want to know if this is the one. If this is the big one that you were just. I like to play in my imagination sometimes and like to think that you were just building all this tension for one magical joke. Right. What is the difference between the weed and the women here in California? <laughs> there you go. No answer. <laughs> no answer, sorry. Like the opposite of David Ramick, if both his set and his interview went terribly. I just want to know, what was it like fighting Morpheus in Matrix Reloaded? <laughs> and where is your twin brother, and where, why do you have pigment? You look like you shouldn't have pigment. I'm over here. You have a pen in the Dickies t-shirt pocket of your shirt. What, yeah, do, you, what, what do you do with that? Show when people you, I do work. You what need you, to quit comedy and start a 311 <laughs> cover band. Immediately. <laughs> Just show people to work. I don't feel like he understands this. Let me speak your language. I'm sorry. <laughs> now, we met, you, massive, y'all. <laughs> we met you last week. We, for the first time, correct? We found out you had just moved here from Hawaii. You have warrants. You're going under a secret name. You wouldn't even tell us the crimes that you committed. And here we are, Destiny, getting you pulled out of a bucket twice in two weeks. It almost seems like, you know you're going to get arrested at some point if you keep coming back here. You know this is a live podcast. All right. Yeah, and yeah, I should have been. I'm sorry, you guys, uh, that last set just had me so off, yeah, on laughter. I, nothing funny to follow up with it, but you're right. This isn't the smartest move, and I'm not the smartest guy. <laughs> sounds I like, like, I like sounds what you're talking, talking about here. I like that you're owning officer. it a little bit. Can you give us some more examples of you being stupid? As many as you like. Well, there you go. Go ahead. It's. I mean, you're yeah. looking at his hair. I mean, yeah. 
I want more. I want some bad decisions. Give me some, Patrick B. Add it again. What made you write add it again in quotation marks after your name? Because the last week, a bad like, attempt at a again. joke. I am at it again in the whole white vans thing. Just uh, Patrick B. tried to play with a syllable in it. I have no word. idea what you just yeah. said. Nobody does in so the world. For a guy who's so white, you sure don't talk like one of us. <laughs> You got like this, yo, I'm so white, like, I'm fucking, they know my name at Whole Foods. It's like that, yeah. it's like that dude it's from True Romance. It's called Whole Foods. Whole Foods, that's how we say it. <laughs> I feel like this is another one of Jeremiah's you characters. You gotta enunciate the H, <laughs> like, yeah. about, like Jeremiah Wolf. cloned himself. Yeah, fam. He's able to take on multiple forms now. I'd get rid of every one of those I'm so white jokes, personally. Yeah. yeah. I just would, because I, I don't think anyone does that comedy anymore. Yeah. So there's no reason to practice it. Oh, man, it's yeah. time to bring it back. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. I always think I'm the trying, interesting, dude. crazy trying. stuff, like the interesting stuff is more, like, I'd either rather go interesting than something you recognize as funny. Mm -hmm. Like, I'm so white that they know my name at Whole Foods first and last. It's not a bad joke, but it's just not something I care to listen to. How are you making money right now, Patrick? Be at it again. Uh, I'm still trying to find some. So, if so, how are you getting weed and women in California with no money? Those looks, looking those dreads. dreads. Yeah, your dreads are gorgeous. Yeah, you're looking gross. I'm not so. saying much. Thank you. Oh <laughs> uh, no, say more. I'm, I'm literally it, trying to figure out how it no, works. No, that's like, what, what I do just you, don't you just, talk. You just, that's when things end up going south. As far as my relationship with women, being so you don't talk. Works. You just literally walk up to them, turn your head like. Point at the dreads and they they just start sucking your dick, your 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 penniless penis. They just put in their mouth and, <laughs> and then you judge the LA women while smoking LA weed that I guess just gets handed to you because of the dreads? Yeah. Really? Yeah. Yeah. Where do you walk to get handed weed with dreads like that? Everywhere I go. Yeah. Venice Beach. <laughs> if you could say one thing to Jerry, what would it be? There you go. That was. I'm sorry. Who's Jerry? See, you should have asked. Jerry Garcia. If you could, if you could oh, say, shit. if you could say anything to the lead singer of Rusted Root. <laughs> a little over your heads, guys. What sorry. music do you listen to? <laughs> I think is what we're rip. getting to. Ah, I got you. Um. Oh man, nothing. Everything. Um. Guessing, nothing recently because I don't have anything to play music on. Wow. You but, don't have a phone. I mean, I do, but I don't have the wireless like uh, data capabilities. The, I gotta be at you. Starbucks or. You have, to have wi you have to have Wi-Fi in order to operate it. Right. So, and it would be weird if I went to McDonald's to listen to music. By the way, that's a tragedy that a guy that looks like you do doesn't have the opportunity to listen to music. That's all it looks like you do. I know. I'm still trying to cope. Are you really uh, running from something? Like, did you, are you, is there like legal problems that you have in your life? Yeah. And we got into it a little bit last time. I really... Shouldn't bring it up because I don't like to talk about it. It's, well, uh, well, what I'm saying is you need to turn that shit yeah. into jokes. Like, your experiences, your stories. You look like you have a million stories. And to do just some vanilla shit about being white, what a million other comics have done, like, you have, you look like you have something to say. So you need to express that, I think, in your comedy. You Did you grow mean? up in Hawaii? Appreciate that. No, lived out there seven years. I've not really from anywhere. I was born in California, but I moved all over the place. So then you're from California? No, I mean, I, I, I don't. I was born here, but I guess not really. I got a question. You were born mid-flight. I moved when I was three months old, so <laughs> you moved. Wow. To, I was, you moved how did you get people to help you pack? You're only three months. You got a U-Haul. They, yeah. they moved, let you. The, three years. I was three born in a old. cave, 400 feet below sea level. Hey, hey, Pat Reagan. Hey, hey, when you go down on a girl, does your beard like tickler butthole that's why i got it <laughs> that's why i don't gotta talk a bickle he calls it the chimney sweep <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh patrick b anything happen to you specifically in this past week in your real life that you find worthy to mention anything interesting in the world yeah uh i actually might have a job coming up this uh, next weekend hopefully i feel like wow what you feel it you didn't uh, no resumes are promising leads like, you just, just feel it in the energy like sage, a sage <laughs> and you know i'm, I'm feeling yeah super confident it's like i was that. talking to this dude it's in the, the back whole of the food show sage, and so you got you need another guy to wash windows with him <laughs> <laughs> no i got the Real sage promise. at whole foods <laughs>
Did you apply for other jobs? Did you apply for new jobs? Have you applied for a single job, Patrick? No, I just put a yeah, PacSun no, on my vision for board. It, really. I did, wow. They didn't come up and uh, ask what? me if I had weed for them. Wait, is that the job you're talking about? No, 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 no. I got like a legitimate job. Like I'll have to pay taxes and stuff now. Oh, As that's, you should. That's how you think uh, it works. Uh, what? All right. Are you Pat ticklish? Are you ticklish? No, I don't believe so. When's the last time Jeremiah? you came? <laughs> two weeks ago. Jesus, two weeks ago. I think it was March 22nd. Oh, yeah, no. that was a pretty hot day. Oh, no. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, it was. All right, Patrick, we talked to you last week. It was good to see you again. There he goes. Patrick hey, I'll be Gabe. better next Yay. time. Thank you, guys. I, I don't know about that. Sure, He's on Twitter at the White Mans. At the White Mans. I pulled another name out of the bucket already. Put your hands together for Elvis Mujic. Elvis Mujic? Sounded too good to be true. Oh, here he comes, Elvis Mujic, ladies and gentlemen. All right, how's it going? I know it sounds like a stupid name. Uh, it's Bosnian. <laughs> Are there any Bosnians here? All right. Uh, I moved here after a war. There was a big war between Bosnia and Serbia. You don't have to guess what side of the war I was on. It was the genocide. I had a good time in Bosnia. Uh, my best friend made it all right. He was a goat named Tina Turner, and uh, we loved each other. And uh, <laughs> we moved to America after, uh, after the war. Uh, I learned how to speak English in New York City. But we missed Bosnia so much that we moved to Detroit. <laughs> it's hard being black in Detroit, you guys. Very difficult for me. You guys know. All right. <laughs> <clears throat> anyway, uh, I left Detroit three years ago. I bought my own house. I'm 27. I own my own house. I'm pretty proud of it. Uh, it's actually not too far from here. It's a t an 07 Dodge Van Caravan <laughs> named Beyonce. It's very nice. There you All go, right, Elvis. Thank you, thank you. Mujic. Elvis. How long have you been doing stand up? Uh, six years. Six years. Five or six. Huh? Five or it's all of a sudden it's it's lessening up. Now we're done. No, five. no, it's it's at least five. I kind of stopped. Maybe counting four and yet. three quarters? No, at least five, for okay. sure. Okay. I'll stick with that answer. <laughs> Elvis. Interesting, uh interesting, interesting. That's a long time to be doing stand up. How much of that is in Detroit? Uh, I was on probation for a year. Whoa, uh, look at you. For, wait, whoa, whoa, whoa. For yeah, what? I, got, well, I got just weed. Just weed? Yeah, I know, yeah. I didn't have a lawyer. I went and I was like, I'm going to be, I'm going to be genuine to the, <laughs> never do Dude, that. Not with, you can't, can't be have genuine with that face. Yeah. You certainly okay, like it. You, you look like every guy that did it tattoos. in cold case files. Hold on, you, sur you survived <laughs> huh? the genocide and you thought the way to go about this was to be honest? I know, he came I into know. your country, killed your men, and raped your women, and you were like, let's just put ourselves out there. <laughs> what the I don't think that's Bosnian, Brian. I don't know. I oh, wait, wait, it. which one were you? Did yeah. you? Were you the rapist or the non-rapist? No, I was getting raped. Okay, yeah, yeah, that's what I thought, right? Have you met Missy? Uh, huh? <laughs> I didn't, uh, what do you do for a living? Uh, what do you mean? Cell phone kiosk. What do you do for work? Uh, the last three, year, three, three months I've been unemployed. Unemployed. And, uh, it's been really rough. Huh. <laughs> what did you do before that? Uh, actually, so for three years I was living in my van. I still am, but I did stand-up. And I would go into like small towns and I would do like a lot of impromptu gigs. And I would sort of book something through that. And I would go into another town and book something through that. For people who don't know, uh, what does impromptu working. mean? I would show up and I would ask like a bar or restaurant, <laughs> can I do a set? And uh, small towns, they don't have a lot of entertainment. So they would say, yeah. And then I would do it and it would go kind of well. And then I'd come back and I'd, you know, get money. Why is there Godfather music? Oh, you think yeah, that's Bosnian that? too. I see what's going on. <laughs> he, doesn't right. know. he doesn't know where Bosnia is. I don't either, dude. I don't know. <laughs> How old were you when you left Bosnia? Seven. Oh. Yeah. Seven, 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 seven. This wasn't that bad for you. No, it was great. You were in like first grade. You were like, well, I'm going to meet new for kids? All right. Do yeah. you look up to Vlade Divac? No, uh, he's Serbian. Serbian. Oh, he's Serbian? Yeah. Oh, my he... bad. Uh, <laughs> I'm good fucking now. It's fine, dude. It's fine. So you still live in your van? Yeah. You're. How long have you been in LA now? 
Since Christmas. Since Christmas. Yeah. Where do you park your van in L.A.? I want to know so that I could drive by and make some noise at night. <laughs> no, please do. Um, <laughs> just start honking my horn. Wherever, like, I'm going to do stand-up the next day. So just, it's always different. Just wow, wherever you're going to do stand-up the next day. So I yeah. guess you park outside of, uh... <laughs> oh, yeah. Put in your own shitty open mic right there. That bad. Oh, I know, yeah. I got a show tomorrow at Clancy's. Wow. Wait, is this Long one of those impressive... <laughs> Is this one of those wacky impromptu shows? Did you just decide it right that's now? How, yeah, that's you just booked yourself? Started it, yeah. The show tomorrow, uh, Farmer's Market. Yeah, in April, uh, if, you, if you can't be in Austin PM. for your show. Stop promoting the show, okay, Elvis. Okay, right, right. Um, how old are you? Uh, 27. 27. Really? Seven. I know, I know. I mean, your skin looks good, but you do look like you own a building and you're not cool to rent from. Oh, yeah. thank you. <laughs> yeah. No, it's a compliment. Thank you. It's very sweet of you, Bert. Yeah. <laughs> How did you get that so fast? He always has Three's Company loaded up in the two spot just in case. Well, so how much time can you do on stage? Uh, 20. That's kind of, I can't. So you do impromptu shows for 20 minutes? If it goes well. I, I mean, I just kind of read it. If it's not going well, I stop. But yeah, I've done a, I did, I did a thing where I did 50 Waffle Houses in 27 days. Wait, wait, wait. I did wait, an wait, hour wait, and a half wait. at one Waffle House. By the way, cool. I did that too. Yeah, I gained waffles. like 40 pounds. <laughs> yeah, I'm serious. Oh, you did stand up at them? Yeah, I would walk in and I'd ask. With, I ask uh, everybody that's there. I don't just start. What time? Oh what time God. of the night? What time? That one? The, the long set? No, no. Just oh. any with the average Waffle House hour. I, I stop before 12 because they get too fucked up and they're crazy. Oh, so. I would Lord. pay yeah. legit fucking money to watch this refugee go up in an Atlanta Waffle yeah, House I know. Exactly. at 3 a.m. Yeah. with just... Hood rat bitches going like, get the fuck out of here! I have video of this, yeah, <laughs> yeah. What do you What do you say? You're like, I do twenty, but for you, I do thirty. You said that, brother, brother, brother. <laughs> so you would literally go up to like without a microphone or a speaker or anything. You no, would go, no. Please let me finish this. Oh, you would sorry. go up to a table of people that are sitting there eating a meal. And you would literally go, hey, uh, you guys want to hear some stand-up? Yeah. Like that. While you're standing up over their food, while they're eating, while they're yeah. talking to each other. What, yo, if you love grits, you'll love my comedy. Yeah. <laughs> but was, like, the audience shaking, like, yeah. like looking at the door, like, no, can I get I'm out of here? No, I'm not as nervous as I am right now. Usually I'm pretty sweet about it. Hey, who likes the comedy? Yeah. Uh, scattered, smothered, covered. <laughs> I think this is a great time for a, for a, a sketch. So here we are. Yeah. Four guys <laughs> yeah. sitting at the bar at Waffle House, having waffles. Yeah. It's two, it's it's midnight. Now you come up and piss sure. yourself. Hang yeah. on, no, I got it. We're in character. Yeah. I it's thought you were gonna fuck that chick, Tony. Yeah, man. man, I hey, don't know. Hey, you guys. <laughs> oh, oh, well. This, yeah, <laughs> no, I'm, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Yeah, Let's start this one over. Figured please. out a way to. Uh, <laughs> you want me to really do it how I actually do it? Yeah, you yeah. That's what exactly you wanted to do. Okay, yeah, yeah. hold on, hold on. Back off. We got to get in character, okay? Sure, sure. You gonna eat hold that? On, wait, just let it happen, Brian. Let it happen for a second here. I'm going to get more bacon. You guys just, want more bacon? You can't eat more bacon. No, you, you're, you're too fat. Really good right, you guys, excuse get more me. Bacon. Excuse me, you guys. Would you yeah. guys be okay if I did some stand-up comedy here for you tonight? Uh, oh, that sounds pretty fucking terrible, but go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> That's an answer, yeah. No, if somebody says that, if there's one person who's not just into it... Just do what you're it. fucking gonna do! What are you, retarded? Jesus it's Christ. a commentary! You're fucking yelling at me! Hey, normally when I be doing the best I did that, this is live, dude! Go, uh, motherfucker! Yes, Have some jokes! Mind you all right, all right, eat all right. my waffle! All right. I'm all still right. in character. I'm a guy at Waffle yeah. House. This isn't me hosting the show. <laughs> I, all right. Do the fucking... What do you just ask? You're you gonna interrupt us? Yeah, yeah, sure. Do you mind if I get my amp and mic and... Uh, no, what? Fuck it. Where, do, where do you keep that at? It's in the van. I live in a van. Hey, Where's guys, the wanna... manager of Waffle House? <laughs> uh, just I... doing some stand. Ma'am, ma'am, can someone get this refugee out of here? What the fuck? Hey, come on. Yeah, this I is... say we take him outside and fuck him in the ass. Let's do it. He's got the van. Yeah. Yeah, that's nice. So, like, yeah. what would be your opening joke, Elvis? You're really not committed to it. You're really just letting us ramble. So you would go get an amp and a microphone. You yeah. would come into the Waffle House, you would put it at the end of the table, and you would stand this far, you would stand, stand right chair. next to the table with wow. a microphone. You'd be like, so uh, now that I have this uh, amp and microphone. No, I would stand right next to um, the fucking jukebox, and I'd yeah. stand on a chair, plug yeah. my amp and mic in, and do a set. Like, oh, oh. Yeah. You, just, you got you, balls, man. That's, you would plug it's because it's hard to get audience members. You would you know. plug into the jukebox? There's no jukebox no. at Waffle House. I would stand yeah. next to it. Yes, there is. Yeah, I would stand is. right next to it. What? 
Oh yeah, there there's is, a yeah. Waffle House at every juke. Or it's jukebox there's a Waffle every... House at every jukebox? Yeah. Well, there's a jukebox also on every table there, right? Think Do you ever plug into the little table one? That must be oh, West Coast. Coast. That's Johnny Rockets. Can oh. I can I help you rethink your business paradigm? Was that? Yeah, sure, please. Why Waffle Houses? Why not go to a place where people don't want to be and lighten up their day as opposed to go to where people directly want to be and then bother them? Yeah, I'm, yeah. I've done at least like 50 different places here the first two months I was here. No, no, no. Why I not meant, go to like a bar that already has a stage how, I and do. a mic? How about I the do. DMV? I, try, I tried Ooh. that once. No, I tried that once. They were like, uh, I've never had that question before. No. <laughs> In the, in the waiting room at the DMV? Yeah, I thought that would be pretty fun, but they said no. You took an amp and a mic in there? <clears throat> no, I asked the manager, and they said, uh, oh, that's an interesting question. His no, you opening can't. joke was, H16? <laughs> H16. What you should do what? is go to the DMV, actually say you have a problem, take a number, and just wait, and as you just you just stand up and start doing your act. No, they would waiting. throw them out or get arrest them. Probably. Yeah, be like, yeah. i got to renew my registration. No, I, I always get permission from everybody there, not just who's in charge, so I ask everybody. Everybody. Oh, so that, yeah. prob that probably never works. No, it does. I did this every night. You mean you walk around a Waffle House, get everybody to approve? This was only for a month. Every I've done like restaurants, bars. I did McDonald's once. Dude, uh, I'm, now I'm fucking hungry. Do you always dress like a school shooter that after <laughs> that after shooting the school goes to the little baby boy bodies and then fondles? Yes. Yeah. I look in the mirror and I'm like, okay, school. You have a look that covers really everything. He looks like the lead singer of Minor Threat. Can I just tell you he he? Can I just can tell you he that? dropped Any his real hardcore people in this? Show. Can I just tell you he dropped a book bag off next to me before he got on stage? Can I? True Bosnian There's a fashion. book bag right there. He definitely it. has the vibe if one of these people were going to shoot themselves in the mouth during their set. It'd be me? Yeah. I feel like you write your jokes on a pressure cooker. <laughs> oh, God. All right. Sometimes yeah. I liked your material. I, I hey, thought it was man. funny. You actually, out of the people that have gone up here tonight, you you did you did fairly well. Like yep. the crowd liked you. You know, in the minute you you had material. I mean, I just think that you got to hit more places than fucking Waffle Houses. No, I do. Yeah, I do. do. You know, you got to hit the IHOPs, the Dunkers. You got <laughs> you got to hit the <laughs> Chipotle's. Get ethnic. Yeah, I'll yeah. try. There he goes, Elvis Mujic, ladies and gentlemen. He's on Twitter at Elvis Comedy. If you're wondering who Elvis Comedy okay, is, it, it's him. It. Oh shit, what's going on? There he goes. He just touched me twice. I have I have his DNA now. All right. How about AJ Rank, everybody? AJ Motherfucking Rank. Here we go. People coming from. Deep in the back tonight. Here he comes. It's AJ Rank, everybody. Put your fucking hands together for AJ Rank. Thank you. I'm uh, about to turn 27, which is a little depressing, just because I thought by now my voice would be like a little bit deeper. That's <laughs> puberty sucks. I, uh, I like having sexual intercourse. That's something fun to do. Uh, Last time I tried, though, I took a girl home uh, to back to her house. I didn't have a condom. I asked if she had one. She's like, yeah, and then she pulled out a magnum. I was like, oh, no. <laughs> it's going to be a challenge, I think. Uh, but I figured, like, what the hell, I'll try it out. Um, so I, uh, I put it on, but she got mad at me. She's like, what are you, 12? Take that off your hand. I'm like, okay. Should fit like a glove. That's what it I, uh, I don't like dirty talk. Um, I don't like when girls do that. That's weird to me. I, uh, like one girl was like, um, she kept really like repeating, uh, I'm a dirty whore. I was like, ooh, that's <laughs> gross. Probably should have wore that condom right, I think. It's <laughs> gross. I don't like dirty talking either. That's weird. Like, uh, I just don't do it right. Like the whole point of dirty talking is to like sound cool. All right. I'll just stop Finish there. it. Go ahead. Finish. All right. Uh, Whole point of dirty talks is sound cool. I don't sound cool. Like when I dirty talk, I just sound like I'm leading a focus group. <laughs> like I say stupid shit like, does that feel good? <laughs> Do you like that? Or, How does my product compare to its competitors? Because I'm like, all right, my name's AJ Rank. AJ Rank. Oh. This is your first time on the show, right? First time, yeah. Very cool, welcome, very funny. Where are you from? Uh, Detroit. Actually. Wow, yeah. another one from Detroit. See, Elvis? Same, started in the same place as you. 
Uh, how long have you been doing stand-up? Um, on and off for like three years. Yeah. Yep. Interesting. Easy breezy. How many Waffle Houses have you performed? Zero. Zero. Zero Waffle Houses. Thrown up in a few, but... What do you do for work? I uh, just got out here, so I'm unemployed. <laughs> what was that, Jeremiah? Oh, man, time fleets. <laughs> Man, for a for a, a recently released prisoner, you really respect good comedic timing. Uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, what's the, what was the answer though? I, I don't even remember the question. Uh, he just came out. He just got out. Just got out of here. Oh yeah, yeah. What uh, do you, yeah, do back home. I'm unemployed. Uh, I was in sales. Of uh, what? Babies. Uh, logistics, transportation. Just How making long have you cold been here? calls all day. How long have you been in LA? Uh, two weeks. Two weeks. Oh, wow. yep. What have you been pretty much spent it doing? Uh, this sleeping, weed. That's it. <laughs> well, what are the new jokes that you wrote the two weeks out here? You were, were like your shit change shifted. And you were like, oh, you know what's different about here as opposed um, to Detroit? Well, I'm trying some like one-liners just because comics don't laugh at anything. So, like, I just don't want to like bomb at open mics, right? So I'm just. Yeah. Well. Okay. So, so, no, it's not. It's not. The, the, when I first came out here from New York, New York was all about uh, uh, being able to do crowd work. And when I came out here, I realized you needed to set up punch, and I hadn't have any of them. I don't do it anymore, but it's a nice thing to learn how to do different parts of stand up right. to get yourself out of bad situations. So one liners aren't bad. I mean, but yeah, you're really funny, man. You're very you're funny. Really funny. I don't I, yeah. don't worry about what other comics think about you you know just be a nice guy and just be yourself on stage and you'll be fine because those jokes were great like when you started that whole condom thing with the magnum i was like oh here we go i've heard this one before and then you added like three other jokes that followed that that were terrific so just keep writing don't worry don't do one-liners if that's not your thing i mean the way you're writing right now is fine okay yeah i like i like that uh i took her home to her place <laughs> I don't know if you meant well, that. Well, I, fu I actually joke. fucked that joke up. But, okay. yeah. Hey, what's your favorite comedy special? Dot, 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 to have sex to. Wow. <laughs> Pat Just Rake. Killing it. Killing it. So, AJ, tell us something else interesting about you. What made you pick L.A., not New York? Um, I went to New York. Uh, I have some friends that live there, and I just wasn't a fan of. Dude, you look like you'd people. be eaten alive in New York. I probably. I'm just. <laughs> you, uh, and you I grew mean, up I'm, in Detroit. Yeah. <laughs> How did no, you uh, survive the apocalypse? I didn't, I didn't grow up in Detroit. I just worked. In Those Detroit. New York comedians would just literally try to fuck you. They'd be like, "Look at that fucking cute little spinner with the short hair." Right? As opposed to us who try like to date that you. Would, yeah, that would happen here. I think. You sound like you like. <laughs> Like, I'd sound like you if I never snorted Oxycontin. <laughs> <laughs> if I didn't drink gasoline. How much time can you do on stage? Uh, the most I've ever done was 25. How did but it that go? Was, it was good. There was only like seven people there, but. So that was the best. <laughs> no, <it laughs> for the record, like, that does, yeah. It was, but it went stretch. well. It, it was wasn't a, like It was an, an audition awkward. for the new Spider-Man movie. <laughs> <laughs> What's your go-to song on karaoke? Uh, lose yourself, Eminem. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, you had a very quick answer there. Go yeah. ahead with it. Uh, lose yourself, Eminem. Oh uh, yeah. Wow. So, so let's gotta uh, get into it. You get into it. You turn into. Can a you role. do it? Can you do yeah. it? Well, like let's, if let's I, I don't it. even know. I gotta have the lyrics. Like it's karaoke. Fuck a mic. His palms are sweaty, acapella. knees weak, Fuck arms are heavy. There's vomit on his sweater already. Mom's, Mom's spaghetti. spaghetti. He's, He's nervous. nervous. on the surface, but his arms are heavy. Drops bombs, but he keeps on forgetting what he wrote down. The whole crowd goes so loud. He opens his mouth, but the words won't come out. He's choking. How everybody's choking now. The clock's turning. Wow, a white guy with no He's rhythm. Saying, this is like. <laughs> This is like Yo. he sounds like a younger version of David Ramick. It's like eight mile via know, bicycle. Doesn't he a little bit? Just <laughs> before yeah. the stroke. I will say <laughs> like to, to to take this to a more serious comedy. All right, it's oh. too late, Wait, you, Brian. It's, you, can, you can just let the moment go. You no, let it go. Yet. Just let it go, Brian. Please, for the love of God, stop You're playing like the music. I'm, I'm just Fox. not even. Do you want me to do it? I'll do it. You already did it. We uh, already, already did it. Did it. Already. It's over. How about do a minute of stand up? We can do that again. <laughs> <laughs> I will say it. Uh, Yo, say cue the music, Brian. <laughs> <laughs> you know who he really reminds me of? Guys on the street. You remind me of like, Kirk Fox. Does anybody, you know what I mean? Just your, your, your cadence, your. I mean, he's a little bit quieter and, no offense, better jokes. But. <laughs> 
But but that's also you're 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 new at it. You're just you're very likable, man. Like I, you're you're gonna be fucking. I hate to say it, you're gonna be fucking. Huge. I totally agree. I think you're, you're one of the huge. top young rising lesbian comedians. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, <laughs> Tony. If he was a gay comedian, they call him Moshe Catcher. <laughs> <laughs> Man, for a prisoner, you have good knowledge of comedians and references. Yeah, I watch Comedy Central. <laughs> oh, they play that at the yard, huh? Yeah. <laughs> All right. The guy that caught Jeremiah's name was uh, Moshe Capture. Oh. It's, I don't think we need any Moshe of these Moshe jokes, guys. AJ, uh, what's an interesting hobby that you have or something that you're good at? Like, I feel like you have a special talent that you're not telling us about. Oh, fuck yeah. Special talent. Um, Something that you're into that you do? I uh, I was audited by the IRS, and I evaded. <laughs> I, I evaded. And you them. what? I evaded them go, going Did to you? jail. You yeah. Stop paying was, your taxes for a little bit. I owned a, my own business for a little bit. And and what I was, was it? What was yeah. it? Yeah, uh, I rented Trump, tents out for like Trump graduation parties and like what's that? Nothing. A Colvins? <laughs> no, like tents for like weddings Colvins and, and tent. like. I don't know what the fuck a cult is. No wonder the business failed. No, the you business no did great. What fuck is. <laughs> you mean, <laughs> party rapping? This conversation I'm actually good at basketball, too. Intense. Well, not good, but like decent enough for a white guy. So really? Mm -hmm. Basketball? Wow, yeah. you're like the white guy version of the nerdy girl that like takes off like her glasses and becomes hot. You're like that on the basketball <laughs> court. People are like, look at that guy riding up on a tricycle. And then you take off the glasses and you just ball on people. Do you have what special sports goggles that you no, put on, I like mean, Horace Grant? Contacts, but wow, yeah, it's a full contact. What's sport. a secret about you that you like? Tell us a secret. A secret, of, like yeah, a how? I like that. You want to like a deep? Um, like, 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 be real about it. Like, yeah. I, I one time told people that my first uh, wet dream, I was riding a horse. Okay. Like, I want to. Fair enough. Like, give me go go. Um. I, I, uh, I haven't done it yet, but I think I would actually really enjoy liking watching people have sex, like in person. Like just, you know, like, like just to... Mother cucker I think here. I would like it. I haven't done it. I'm, I'm willing to experiment. You're talking about live watching a couple have yeah. sex? Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 Like voyeurism no or whatever. We all would. Yeah. Well, like... Just hang out but, uh, later tonight with Elvis. Okay. I think I'd like french fries. I haven't tried them, but I think I'd like them. <laughs> Wait, you've never You're right. watched people fuck? Well, like, yeah, I'm, like, I'm, I'm fucking computer, but like go in to... person, well, I gotta go like, like Tijuana. You like it in real life? Well, no shit, but like, it would still be kind of awkward when you think. Have you done it? Yeah, no, you're not watching me and my wife fuck, and that would be well, awkward. Well, yeah, that, but. <laughs> and his wife's got a new Honey, honey, <laughs> I met this guy here earlier tonight. He's a new He's comic. Like, He's a new comic. He, he thinks really... he might like this. Come on. <laughs> Missy, maybe? I don't I know. Like you're pitching yourself to Missy right, right now. You're like, Missy, I might like it. Come Maybe. Come Have you done it? Have any of you actually? I went course. to yeah, the yeah, yeah. I yeah. went to the Casa Rosa in uh, in Amsterdam, and I yeah. watched. I paid Wrong money to watch people. Right. Fuck. Well. Yeah. yeah, I watched people fuck, and yeah, it's fuck. It smells weird. <laughs> <laughs> it smells like buttholes and fucking homeless feet. Yo, welcome to prison. Ass dog. and shrimp. <laughs> AJ, this is interesting, wanting to watch a couple fuck live. Yeah. Now, would you go glasses or contacts for that? Uh, contacts, for really? sure. Really? Yeah. yeah. Uh, col colored contacts? No, no colored. Foggy right. contacts. Foggy. Yeah, I don't want it. Yeah. Do you have any tattoos? What's that? Whoa, it looks like Brian hit a bunch of buttons at once. Tony, <laughs> Yeah. I feel some sexual tension between you two. Oh, wow, you stopped the show to do that, huh? Yeah. Look at that. You got I mean, a couple you're angry comedians clapping. questions. No, I, I mean, I know I've asked everybody personal questions, do you think, Brian. Do you like how he's dressed? This is episode 203 of the show. Like, do you like how he's dressed? Like a lumberjack? No, a, more a like lumberjack. a lumberjack. You're, you're taking a lot you know of creative <laughs> chances here tonight, Brian, and uh, it really doesn't ever really work that well. Um, hey, I got a question. Yeah. Why do we bury our pets instead of setting them on fire in canoes and pushing them out to sea. Granted, Scandinavians do it, but they don't count as people. Well, you, d <laughs> you did learn how to read in prison, Pat. <laughs> H. A. Rank. All right, buddy. Well, welcome to the show. Thank you. Great job. Thank you. Yeah, Thank very you. funny Terrific. stuff. There Terrific. he goes. Thank you. You saw him here. H. A. Rank. He's on Twitter at H. A. Rank. I. S. A. I. A. J. R. A-N-K Junior. You're A.J. Rank Junior? 
Wow, there he goes, AJ Rank Jr. That's his uh, handle on Twitter. One more time for AJ, everybody. This has been fun. We have a regular on this show that writes and performs a brand new minute every single week. It's a goddamn anomaly of the art form that takes place weekly here. She doesn't get pulled out of the bucket. She literally has to do it every single week. You get to watch her grow, kill. It's always so fun. One of my favorite comedians to watch. It's the great Ali Makofsky, ladies and gentlemen. Come on. AJ Rank is hot as hell. Oh my God. Fuck. Um, he's so hot. Uh, okay. I got rear-ended in an Uber pool the other day. And that is not a euphemism for uh, for getting anal in a gangbang. But I have tried anal before, um, which is tight. Well, it didn't work out very well. Like, the guy couldn't get it in. And um, honestly, I take the blame for it. I feel like I did a half-assed job. <laughs> um... I'm about to get out of this abusive relationship I'm in, um, which is like exciting and terrifying, you know. I'm about to start taking this pill that will cure my acne. And um, it's the longest relationship I've been in, about five years. And once this, like, it does feel like a relationship in the way that I feel like once my acne clears up, I'm like, it wasn't really that bad. Um, okay, yeah. Um, is AJ still here? <laughs> wow, you are really in love with AJ Rank. Yeah, let's get him back on the stage and see if oh, we please? can get him back. Please, he's so AJ, 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 get back up here. What's going on? AJ, AJ you want some you're food? being called up to the couch. The proverbial Kill Tony couch. For those yeah. of you that don't know, Ali Makovsky's never had an orgasm. And I'm yeah. pretty sure AJ Rank has never we... given an orgasm. Right, so this is going to be... This is a match made in uh, falling asleep early heaven. Wow, AJ, initial thoughts about... Whoa, look at this. Power Fuck move. yeah. He just slid right into uh, first base. He, he just walked. said he would kiss me. Oh. Whoa. All right, let's make it happen. It's got to happen now. Fuck. Cue the music. Wow. Our first ever Kill Tony uh, matchup. It's AJ Rank and Ali McCoskey. Wait, where are you going? Wait, where are you going, AJ? You're he supposed to kiss her, you fucking yeah. pussy. Right, wait, 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 wait. I think it would be only fitting if someone else kissed her and he watched. <laughs> hey, what? <laughs> Forrest Gump guy. <laughs> Unbelievable. Forrest Gump guy. Who would you like to see? Oh, you want to? Brian wants to get the window washer up here. Yeah. <laughs> Just to watch. Would he's like, pr he's would probably you like clean. He's probably clean. I say we make a full blown analogy and he washes the window while two people kiss and you're his employee and you're like, whoa, are you seeing that? Give him a kiss, Allie. What are you so afraid of? I won't kiss him, but I will suck his dick. <laughs> Wow! Oh, wow! We just raised the stakes. All right, Whoa. go ahead, Ali. Suck his dick. Go in the <laughs> dick sucking curtain. Wait, what about it's my? It's not dick? a dick sucking curtain, Brian. See, when you do that, it gets too weird. Hey, go behind the old dick sucking. Kit. What if they actually? If she actually sucks his dick in the back. We do a couple more comics. Come out, smell her mouth. Oh, Brian! Smell her you mouth. Oh. There you go. You oh. got your. There yeah. it is. Man, it's a hood trap right Smells there. Smells like bleach. She did it. <laughs> Hey, man. Man. I feel like we look good together, no? Yeah, you guys yeah. look like uh, you belong in a uh, in a uh, anti-Trump protest or uh, <laughs> something like that. Yeah, he, he, he will not divide us. 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 I refuse to look into his eyes, but like, there's so much going on. Uh, let's, let's make yo, that happen. Yo, Tony. Wow, look at that. Oh. When he does that. Let's see how close you guys can get to kissing without kissing. Yeah, don't. Jeremiah Watkins. Let's play a hetero chicken. Yo, oh, yeah. it's happening. It's it's happening. Yes, it's happening. you can. Yeah, yeah, let's see how just close you can get. Fucking dead. Yeah, let's see I how like close you can get. <laughs> wow, lighting change. We even got a motherfucking lighting change from Damon up top. AJ, I love this. AJ, AJ, wow. AJ. 
H. A. Rank, ladies and gentlemen. There he goes with the great Ali Makovsky. Go make a comedy, baby. Well, Ali, I guess stick around. Yo, yo, Tony. My yeah. mom's watching. Oh wow. Your mom's here. Oh, well, fantastic. You know what they say? One in the rank, two in the stank. <laughs> What did you say? Nothing. <laughs> it's not worth repeating. Yo, oh Tony. Yeah. It's always been a fantasy of mine to see the Verizon Wireless guy hook up with Jay from Jay and Silent Bob. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. Yeah, Damn. Two is. in one episode. Kevin it is. Smith. You have a little bit of both going on. You have a little. Oh, you're like Silent Jay nice right now. Um, I like that. You know what? You know what's good is like he fucked with me before the acne went away. Yeah, he's how, down. How wet are you right now? You can say how he's well, proactive oh, like about your relationship. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> I say you can say he's proactive about your relationship. There you go. I had a feeling we had something there. Interesting stuff. What else is going on in life, Ali? That was another amazing set. It's incredible. Um, Plowing it out every week like that. I love that you fell in love blatantly. Oh my god, I'm horny as hell. Why do you think that is? I don't know. I think because like uh, I want what I can't have. Oh, you can oh, probably yeah. have that. You totally have it. He's got nothing going on. He just got his three weeks AJ, ago. AJ, like, for Christ's sake. You, you yeah. turned down the blowjob curtain. I mean, yeah. I tried to help you. Guy looks like he works at a yogurt land. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm lactose intolerant, so that's perfect. Oh, maybe. All right, all right, stop. Oh, well, good thing we don't fuck pump milk. <laughs> 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 All right, Allie. Well, I mean, you killed it again. You have any questions for us? Any questions for the machine, Bert Kreischer? No, I. Or I, goddamn I, comedy jams, Josh. I, I think it was a really. I like that half-ass joke. Thank you. Yeah. That took a weird turn, and I'm not proud of myself, but I'm feeling good. What good. took a weird turn? The half-ass joke? I mean, I wasn't. I never was like, oh, I can't wait to get into comedy so I can kind of make out with a hot guy on stage. I mean, of course not. That's just one part of one small thing. It's no big deal. Just one episode, and uh, it was just something that happened. Hey, hey guess what? I didn't, get into comedy. Like I didn't get into comedy so I could shit blood in an airport. But it happened. Uh, yeah. 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 Allie, it's not like making out with, uh, you know, a half a lesbian is your new get or done, and you're going to have to do it every set or anything I didn't like get that. into comedy so I could gag trying to put down a fucking jack on the rocks in a fucking bathroom at 6 a.m., but it's part of the gig. <laughs> I didn't get in comedy so I could turn down blowjobs in West Palm, but I'm married. Oh. She gets half my shit, so whatever. <laughs> fucking toughen up, Allie. Yeah. It's going to be great at your wedding when they play that video. Yeah, of Kill Tony. Or, I mean, Bar Mitzvah, or whatever it's called. <laughs> yep, there you Hell go. Hell yeah. Allie Makovsky, you did it again. Another Great job, Allie. Great, Great job. job. Very funny. Some improvised fun. What do you guys think? Go to the bucket one last time, huh? Yeah. Do something crazy and then get the fuck out of here? Let's do it. Sometimes it's someone boring. Sometimes it's the craziest person of the night. I mean, ho hopefully the window washing guy signed up twice. Who knows? Anything can happen. Put your hands... Wow! It really is. One of our favorite guests ever on this show. Put your hands together for a Kill Tony legend. It's the great Steve Lee, everybody. <laughs> I love you, Brian. Make some fucking noise, people! Jesse's girl! Jesse's girl! Yeah! I almost couldn't make it on stage, so... <laughs> it's not a joke. Uh, Here, let me help you. I'm sorry. Uh, <laughs> give me five more minutes, guys. <laughs> um... Did I just prove like all Asian people can't walk really fast? Stereotype. <laughs> that's that's for you, sir. <laughs> um, so, are you done? I only got one minute. So. I know, I'm sorry. Um, so in LA, a lot of people told me, Steve, you're gonna make it because you're unique. You're Asian and disabled. I'm like, so I don't need to be funny? <laughs> 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 so, 
So when I find out there's another Asian disabled comic, I'd have killed that motherfucker. <laughs> Just saying. <laughs> Boom, Steve uh, I, Lee. I, I, I Did you want to do more? Go I more, go yeah, more. Yeah, I'm sorry, I fucked it up. Do another one. <laughs> <laughs> So I went to geneticist. Um, he told me bad news is my muscle cells grow a lot of fat cells instead of muscle cells. That's why I can't dunk. <laughs> On the other hand, he told me good news is um, uh, my condition is not going to affect my kids. So I'm like, thanks God, I'm not going to have another Asian disabled kid out there compete with me in showbiz. Nice. Steve motherfucking Lee. Here, here, here. Fuck yeah. You are incredibly funny. I that was great, man. Thank you. Thank Terrific. Thank you. An insane ninja style uh, callback <laughs> to um, the walking slow thing earlier. That was so fucking good. Yeah. That, that, ability, yeah. Ne that ability is so fun. that you Because that I, I don't think any of us had it on our head, but man, you took forever. Yeah. <laughs> like I, I almost grabbed one of your crutches trying to think it was one of the, the mic stands. <laughs> like you had three things moving around at once and I was yeah. like, fuck, I don't know which one to grab. Yeah. <laughs> but that and it was so great that you brought that up immediately. Thank you. Thank and you. and you were so slow. Yeah. <laughs> that I could not stop laughing about that. That was making me laugh so fucking hard. It was, it was real, joke. like there were yeah. so many wires. It was like yeah. uh, should I like jump over them? Like I, I can't do shit you know. <laughs> You're like, it's like you realize, handicap wait. wipeout. Yeah. <laughs> What's a crazy time you've gotten uh, stuck in a terrible physical like uh, position? Anything ever? You ever take like escalators or shit like shit ever get weird? <laughs> <laughs> you have to like speed up at the end of the escalator. Like here we fucking go, 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 like that. Get the fuck out of there. You know what I mean? Just you mean like transportation related? Yeah. Problem. Uh, I, I did some shows. They their, their stage is like this high, yeah. and there's no like second or you know little step yeah. I can step on. Right. So I just get, couldn't do the show. <laughs> like, <laughs> Don't you just have an amp and a mic that you carry around and plug into the jukebox <laughs> once in a while? I should. I should. Interesting. So you just walked up to the stage and stopped, and they're like, "I guess he's not here." <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, like, I ended up doing like doing it like that. I like there. that you're pointing with your crutch. <laughs> I love it when you use your walker as a pointer. <laughs> it's totally a thing. Uh, Steve, I can't remember what this condition. How bad was the car accident that you started to? Uh... <laughs> All right. Uh, why are Asian car accident jokes? And that was the second one that failed here tonight. They, it really, out of all the stereotypes of all the races, you realize that's it's, the it's biggest one. It's 100% true. Right? I've they been, fucking can't drive. Yeah. I, I mean, it. it's truly unfucking. By the way, it's unbelievable. I, I, I've been Steve, do you girl. drive? By the way, <laughs> this, this is real. Uh, my, I, my speeding uh, record is so bad, I applied for Uber and they rejected me. You drive? Wait, yeah. wait, wait, wait. It is you ironic drive. that the slowest Asian on earth speeds everywhere. <laughs> All right. <laughs> there you go. There's the entire cartoon for you from Brian. I, I, I've been dating an uh, Asian girl for almost a year. She's been in three car accidents in, in <laughs> one year. 100%. No, she got I in never... a car accident taking the rental back. And she destroyed the car in front of the rental car place. Oh, my God. See, Love what, hurts. What kind of Asian are you? Uh, Chinese. Chinese. Old Chinese, school. Yeah. Old school. <laughs> It fucking hurts rental car joke. He said rental car, you fucking haters. All right. Anyway, Steve Lee. Yeah. How long have you been on stand-up? Oh, seven years. Uh, Too seven. long. <laughs> and uh, how, do you, how do you survive? What do you do again? Uh, hey. I used to work in the Bay Area. And it's like, you know, startup company. But after they went, they went south, I was like, ah, I don't have a job. I guess I moved to L.A. Trying to make it as <laughs> showbiz. <laughs> I mean, I get by from time to time. Like, yeah. I, 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 at least I have a place to stay. Yeah. Like, Do you get sent in on casting calls? Uh, no, I haven't. I mean, like, you mean Asian disabled roles that yeah, yeah. out there? <laughs> yeah, right. There is. Everybody I mean, knows Ken Jung gets all I'm, those. I'm, do I'm, uh, <laughs> I'm doing. I'm doing more writing now, so probably I, that's. 
the direction I want to do. What do you write with your feet? Uh. <laughs> <laughs> All right, shut up. Yeah, you want to not laugh at my fucking driving jokes? Well, that's what you get, bastards. Yeah. Uh, no, what no. Do you mean? <laughs> no, actually, you, you asked the right question. I use like a voice to uh, text program. Siri? And sometimes I've had that. Voice been, to text? By the way. Voice to text. <laughs> voice. <laughs> Those Fucking look like. how difficult that computer's job is. Um, can hey. you please repeat? <laughs> please repeat. <laughs> Cheese and meat. <laughs> okay, so 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 I have prop, but but I have problem with the with the program because I have an accent. <laughs> it could, oh yeah, it so yeah. Accent. What? Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. What? yeah. Hey, how did the accent oh, <laughs> My program is defaulting. <laughs> you cause a program a great shame. <laughs> The program is a failing. Can program failure. Can I make one request? Can I do a selfie with the, with all you guys? Yeah, of course. Like you think stage? you can get that with your tiny arms? All right, <laughs> fine. Try to, pull, try to pull off the world's shortest selfie. One of those crutches selfies. better turn into a selfie stick. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my goodness, this isn't roasting. I'm pretty sure this is Mongolian barbecue. What's going on right here? You know we're going to be hungry in 15 more minutes. <laughs> oh, man. Wait, Fuck were yeah. we supposed to be in that? Here, give it to me. Everybody's in it but Steve. I love this. <laughs> this is one of the greatest things we've ever tried to shoehorn in. Steve Lee. Before you, oh wow, one, one with the audience. Make some fuck, get into it, audience. You fucking haters. Bunch of Diaz brothers fans in the front row. Don't want to play nice, huh? All right, Steve Lee. Yeah. Um, really, I really enjoyed it, Steve. Oh, thank I really you, did. Thank I, you. I, uh, you okay, I have one play. question. Oh. Um, the joke sure. about I can't dunk. I, I like people don't laugh all the time with yeah, that with yeah. that with that punchline. So yeah, because it's not that and, funny. <laughs> Like, yeah, it's, uh, I would. I, man, I don't know. I don't have to tell you. What, what What are you wondering exactly about the dunk part? You yeah, say yeah, yeah. So the joke Look, is. So my is muscle ha cells develop a lot of fat, fat cells. instead of muscle. Yeah, that's yeah. why I can't dunk it <laughs> like that, right? That's how you <laughs> say it. Say, say it how you say it. Uh, my muscle cells de de develop a lot of fat cells instead of muscle cells. That's why I can't dunk. It <laughs> <Yo. laughs> sounded like a. <laughs> I know I a lot you, about sales. I think maybe you could put it more on the nose, or you could just switch it out for something else. Uh, I'm gonna, okay. I'm gonna tell you, I'm gonna, I'm gonna make a, a judgment call here and think you should be doing crowd work. Ooh. The way you came up with the joke about me was so quick. I would like you to see a, you do a tad bit of crowd work to the audience, real quick. Yeah, let's so try let's some. See some, because that you know. It's just, just try it. Just try it. What the fuck? Come on, Steve. Don't be scared. It's like walking without crutches. Yeah. Should go good. Just try it on. Uh, come on, try it on one of these boring meatheads in the front here, covered <laughs> yeah. in tattoos. One of these guys that can easily have their way with you. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I'm pretty sure they're fucking uh, UFC fighters. But go ahead, Steve Lee. But Steve, don't be a pussy. Light them up. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sweating already. Oh no, shit. no, no, no! Go for the fucking tatted up one. Go. What's up, yeah. bitch? <laughs> It's all right, Steve. They're sweating too. They worked out before this. Uh, what's up, guys? Uh, this, uh, you know, gay skateboarder group right here. What's up? How you doing? Know? By the way, <laughs> yes, and it's genius. And I think you could be a roast god. Uh, there's something about being completely fucking handicapped and coming up looking like look at these gay skateboarders. What the yeah. fuck? Am I right? That's great. It's fucking schlups. Keep going, Steve. Keep it's, going. Ask it's them what they do for a living. Ask them what they do oh, for a living. Yeah. But it's Steve, a, light them up. Light them up. This is incredible. Them. Steve, you're like Don Ricketts. They're not going to touch you, dude. <laughs> you're fine. Come on. So, so what, do you do, what do you do for a living? <laughs> what? Manage paintball field? Is that like your highest achievement in your life? Like, <laughs> is your mother proud of you? Like, right, Steve, up? call him a faggot. <laughs> 
You shove those paintball in your ass like, oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> you shove those paintball uh, in your ass like, ah oh, yeah. All right, that's it. Steve, I think it works. <laughs> yeah. I think you can't so dunk scared. that. Though. Don't Why be are you scared? scared, dude. No one is going no one to beats hurt you. you. Up, man. God already did. Yeah. Exactly. You gotta Jeez. go. You gotta take the hard route, dude. Uh, I think. Yeah. I, I. I really think that you're untouchable, man. You really are. You have a license to say and act whatever any way you want to an audience because you you come up with a disability and fucking light bitches up. Well, is there anyone black in here? <laughs> Steve, go after a black guy. Go after a black guy. <laughs> Just tell a good black joke, Steve. Yeah, nothing's have, gonna happen to you. Do you have any good black jokes? Here. Over here, over here. Oh, Steve, they're all pointing the at this one guy. <laughs> it felt really weird to be pointing. But like, here he is. I found him. Obviously, there's a fourth member of the band that just broke out of prison over there. Uh, go on, hey, Steve. Where's Steve. the black guy? I can't see you. Oh. <laughs> Brian. <laughs> Steve, it's Yo. either a floating white shirt or there's a black guy back there. Man. Someone starts the fuck out of his shirt and left it on a chair. Because when you do crowd work, it doesn't work all the time. Like, no, that's no, no. not true. Yeah, and it goes both ways. And you should be, you know, taking chances and having fun. And there's truly something hilarious with being an insult comic who <laughs> is, I've never seen or even heard of anything like that. And when I first saw you go, call those guys gay skateboarders, I truly, like, I, my head almost fucking exploded. Yep. As a fan of roasting, there's something about having, like, a huge, you're, you're like a glaring... I mean, you're but, a, you're a huge target. Wait, here's here's Red Band. But Tony, like, you have to watch out though, because you know, at comedy clubs, a lot of people get drunk. They could just like accidentally nudge you when they walk by, and you'll fall down on the ground immediately. <laughs> there you go. You should live in fear every day, of your life. <laughs> you know, according to Brian, uh, you should be careful. It you is. Can he's fall right. Fall down at some point. It's you know what? And I'm sure you never this thought of that super, before. This is super super meta and super deep. But you're you're defense your whole life has been making jokes about yourself before anyone else could fuck it man own yeah. this stage yeah. go up and just light motherfuckers yeah. up the better yeah. looking they are yeah. destroy them oh yeah. I, I know but and, and by the way i'm just saying that that doesn't have to be your whole act but if you can find that let that be your wedge in the door your foot in the door and light it let them know you can no do pun that. intended your foot <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> You're really good on your toes. <laughs> <laughs> My goodness. It was great, man. Fuck You're really, it, yeah. It. Just take, look, we don't know what the fuck we're talking about. We're just giving you a tab of advice from the outside, CNN, and I, I just thought it was fun watching you come up with stuff very quickly. Yeah. And don't make yourself the punchline. Light motherfuckers up. It's true. No fucking one's going to fuck you, man. Fuck with you. You're untouchable. Yeah, man. You the praying man. The the praying magnet? The praying mantis. Oh. <laughs> my bad. My okay, I have not, one question for My that. grammar not too good. I have one Ooh, wait. Steve Lee has a question for you, Jeremiah. So what happened if I went to prison? What happened? Uh, <laughs> man, I'd use your little hands and fist dude's buttholes, man. <laughs> Steve, do some mean crowd work on Jeremiah real quick. <laughs> yeah, man. What I'm would you say about him if he was sitting in the front row of your show now, Steve Lee? Uh-oh. So is that like a prison rehab program right there? <laughs> like they're playing saxophone, jazz, and shit. <laughs> Steve, Steve, come Steve, on, Steve. go deeper. Look at me. <laughs> Steve, just, just say it, Steve. Say, come say, on, you say know, the Steve. Say the you, it's say staring it. right at your face. <laughs> Are you fucking faggot? Whoa, Jesus! Whoa, whoa, whoa! whoa. I didn't. I didn't. I didn't. <laughs> I didn't tell you to say fucking all angrily before it like that, Steve. We meant it like a compliment. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> nice clothes, you must be a faggot. <laughs> Yo, you just got jumped into this game. Put your hands together for the great Steve Lee, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, He's on Twitter at Steve Lee Comedy. That's episode 203 of Kill Tony. We have uh, the goddamn comedy champ coming up. Wednesdays, 10 p.m., Comedy Central. Uh, you're, you can also catch Jeremiah Watkins on that show, other friends of Kill Tony. Uh, pretty much everybody who's on it, I'm sure, has done Kill Tony. Johnny Scordis, everybody. The great machine, Burt Kreischer. 
Tony Hinchcliffe. Uh, Tony Hinchcliffe's on my podcast this week. Yeah, it's a day after this, I guess. So check out the bird tomorrow. Cast. Catch me on the Birdcast. It's uh, a good one. It was so good. It felt like we were there for forty minutes. It turns out we churned out a quick two hours. The drawing from Ryan J. Ebel, who drew that while all you lazy asses sat there. Wow. That's just absolutely fucking I love ridiculous. Those if you want to do something crazy after the show, find Ryan J on the front patio and ask him to show it to you while you sat there and did absolutely fucking nothing. Oh, he'll Three show it to you. Tonight's episode. That's available at RyanJBelt.com. So is the brand new Kill Tony poster, which I'm absolutely in love with. That's what's uh, mm-hmm. going it's to be so awesome. next week when I finally get one. It's going to be in the middle of my living room, right next to my other Kill Tony poster. It's, it's going right to be in there. my bedroom. Ooh la la, above mm-hmm. the bed. Yeah. So um, I can look we at are you. going to Austin on the 22nd Second. and Houston on the, the 23rd. 23rd. And I'm doing a bunch of stand up a ton of different places. I just signed on to, uh, to a deal with Monster Energy Drink, is putting me on a tour this summer. Monster Energy Drink presents Tony Hinchcliffe. Yeah. Hello. That's this summer. That's on TonyHinchcliffe.com. Get tickets wherever you live. I'm performing near you because I have to do over 12 cities in two weeks. So come be part of the fun. TonyHinchcliffe.com. Thank you, live audience. That's Kill Tony 203. Love you.